welcome in good morning good good morning how is it going <laughs> healthy welcome in um good to see some familiar faces jeff welcome good to see you a seven stream streak as well just brandon it is just brandon welcome in good to have you because it's good music thank you it's 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 okay music <laughs> it's okay music gamble what 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 we are playing ftb skies today <clears throat> Normally we'd be playing um, Create Arcane Engineering, but last Friday, I was like, man, I really want to keep playing this right now. So um, I don't know if I'm going to do a stream-a-thon of FTB Skies this week or or what. Um, we'll figure it out after today. But because uh, I, I may do it, uh, I may do the stream today and then we'll also potentially play it on Thursday and on Friday. So we'll see. We'll see. Chosen, what's the origin story of the pure daisy on my head? You know, this is just what it uh, what you get whenever you support creators. You know, I just wanted a pure daisy. Uh, Vasky put out, it was a few years ago, um, put out a, uh, a supporter uh, perk for Batania. And if you supported, you could get a, uh, a, 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 cha a flower of your choice on your head. And I wanted the pure daisy. I liked it. I thought it was nice. So, same goes, yeah, same goes for the Astro Sorcery, like Hellfire PvP, um, getting the little orb that follows me around, but I haven't played that mod since 112, so it's been a while. It's been a long while. So, hello, I am a fan. Well, I like my settings on high, so thank you. <laughs> now, thank you, welcome in. Goodness. Sorry, I just ran back and forth. Hey, Jason. Been watching your Arcane series, uh, still only on day five, but people complaining in the comments make me laugh. It's a stream <laughs> that you post uh, for other people's convenience, but yeah, they complain about the stream things. Appreciate it. Uh, I appreciate you and uh, that you post all the things in the first place. Well, thank you. At least, at least you like understand. At least you understand. Yeah. Those first, ep I did edit the, ended up editing those first episodes though, removing a lot of the, uh, the first two episodes. Um, or if you call them episodes, the first two streams, I edited a lot of that out, but, um, which helps a little bit, but still, you still get people that are going to complain. There are people are going to complain regardless. And I understand that those videos don't even really make me a profit. They don't make me any thing <laughs> like me posting them. I might as well not because it doesn't like what's 50, like 50 bucks, maybe 50 bucks. I think every month roughly from that channel. So like <laughs> I'm posting it. So they're archived. It's an archiving channel. So I post it. So that way I don't lose those, the, that footage that way it always exists. Cause on Twitch, it, it gets deleted after so many days. Um, I do take the time to thumbnail them. So it takes me almost two hours every Friday to do the downloading and thumbnailing of just three of the VODs. So, anyways, <laughs> only for people to go, I will never watch that so long as you have people spawning in the world and you have this and that. I'm like, okay, I don't care. Don't watch it then. You don't have to watch it. That's what the main videos are for. Go watch those then. There's not that in those. But anyways, made you laugh. Yeah, it's kind of kind of ridiculous. There, but there's there's a lot of people that in the in this world that I've come to find out that are so entitled to things that they think free things they should be able to complain about. I don't know. Oh, a lot of entitled people. Anyways, welcome in. Alex, good to see you. Well, yes, welcome with a 15 stream streak. Okay, so today, today is going to be kind of nuts. Um, so we ended up setting the mob farm back up and I'm checking this here. Okay, so if I turn it off, the mob farm does work really well. We found out this reaches a really far distance away. Uh, every time I update, I have to do this. There's, th there was an update, another update, but it didn't really affect any of the things that we're currently working on. Um, so we should be good there. Things are looking pretty good. Yeah, the mob farm's working insanely well, almost too well. Um, some things I wanna get started and get worked on today. On my clipboard, work on cake automation. We cannot do 
Batania without cake automation. So that's going to need to happen. And we ended up last stream moving all of our setup from the main island, which is all the way over here. We took all the stuff for the most part off of this, which there's still more things we've got to move over today. But most of the stuff we've, we, we've moved off of here. Um, and we've, we've moved on. Um, and we've now moved to the Sky Island, which is really, really nice. Um, and this is going to continue to expand as we go along. I think I want to add a layer of dirt on here uh, and grass. I don't know how much dirt and grass I have. Not a lot, not a lot. Um, I mean, we could probably make some sort of dirt automation uh, that's possible. I know we can definitely do it with gravel or we can use a material generator. We need organic compost apparently. Oh yeah, we can make organic compost. That's super easy. Okay. So the, the awesome thing is we do have material generators. Th that's that's a major, major buff on our part. So let's see. Speed augments. Perfect. Capacity augments. Perfect. Capacity is going to allow us to pick all of these up in the material generators. Okay. Um, we don't really need the export. Um, even though we could, but I don't really want it. Um, let's take a look. It was the organic. Wait, can we do grass? Material generator. It requires a moss block. Ooh, we have moss. So why don't we just do grass? Material generator, grass. Uh, it does need a silk touch tool, I would almost guarantee... Um, which we do have a silk touch shovel, so that should be perfectly fine. Awesome. Um, so let's get a material generator set up. Uh, we should be able to place that right here and it will be a moss block. And then this one I want andesite. Um, so I need my, why am I picking this up? I did not equip that. Oh, it's my pick. Oh, it has magnet on it. Ugh. I really don't like that that pick has magnetic on it. I'm actually about to just break that. I really should. Um, which is honestly, as long as they don't do durability. See, so before you didn't. Uh, before it didn't always require a tool. Now it says tool required. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, the last time I, we, we messed around with this, it does require a tool. Like you have to put a tool in it. It doesn't use the durability. But it, it does that. There's also the smelting. Um, I think a shovel actually has silk, or requires silk touch. But yeah, if I put this in, we then put the upgrade in our offhand, right? And that puts it on it. And then we do the shovel, um, right? Uh, actually, the shovel goes in our offhand, right? And that goes in its hand. And then we do the speed augment, right? Speed augment. I'm only going to do two in the offhand and then let's do two capacity upgrades. So now that should hold quite a bit. Wow. That actually seems really slow. Let's put all the speed in this. The, the dirt seems this the grass seems really slow. I don't know why. Probably because we don't have like efficiency on the tool. Because I know on our other one, it's pretty good. Okay, andesite. So andesite uh, has to have the smelting, but it requires a block of andesite. Okay. Block of andesite. And then pick. I think this one we use this one, which has the fire infused, which we need. Fire infusion is really, really nice for that. The fire infusion is like silk touch. All right, that on there, that should start generating this. We'll put the capacity. Nice. So now we have a bunch of andesite that should be generated. Nice. I don't know how much these store. It doesn't really say, does it? Hmm. 
Did we move to a new island? I did. I moved to the Sky Island. There's still a lot of stuff that I've got to get moved over, but yes, we did it. We did effectively move, which is really nice. We even moved our mob farm, and our Nether portal actually still links. Uh, and then we also have like this ability, like we can just jump around wherever we want. Um, we do have a mob farm. That's another thing I kind of want to fix today. Also, this says apparently 32 blocks mobs will not spawn. It seems like our farm is not effective, thankfully. But that was something that was apparently fixed. Yeah, our mob farm is still working. Uh, I do have it turned off though right now. Technically. It is turned off. Got dirt? Oh, I got dirt. Not on anybody in particular, but I do have dirt. That's my, uh, that's my shirt, by the way. I got a shirt that is in the merch store that says, uh, need dirt. And somebody messaged me and said, I, sorry, I can't buy your shirt that says need dirt because dirt is considered a drug here. And I was like, what? Like what? Okay. <laughs> is that like what? I don't know. Oh, does the capacity not? Oh, I, I thought I added capacity upgrades to this. Maybe I did not. I did. So does the capacity not increase the storage? Streaming a bit early? This is about the same time I normally stream. Um... I spell ped, uh... Oh my god, I gotta learn how to spell this mod. I never use it, so I don't have it memorized. Um, so yeah, cognitive capacity increases the item transfer rate. Oh. So, storage augments the one we need. Ew. Um, can I not just like use a barrel and pull off of here without doing the whole thing? Actually, we should figure out. Oh, hold on. We should figure this out. Um, let's go ahead and I should. Um, it may be back at the other base, which you might have to go back to my linking one. But let's let's try a functional storage drawer. I want to set up a tree farm today, by the way. We've got to get wood. Logs. Yeah, that's going to be a problem, isn't it? I don't have anything to make the drawers out of. Uh, let's go ahead and grab out the, the dirt blocks. Um... We don't have like a piping option, do we? Oh, we did find out. Yeah, we should be able to pipe out of here. Definitely, because I use create to pull off of this. Yeah. Yes, I believe the sophisticated storage is in here, though, interestingly enough. Functional storage is, though. Um, but I need, I need uh, the drawers... Huh, how am I going to do this? Mm -hmm. Actually, we do have, we, we did get, um, industrial foregoing gave us item transporters. <laughs> so I can just use that for right now. These are actually really nice. So you can put one here, one here, and then I go boop. And there we go. However, I need, I need a barrel for, let me do barrel. I'm just going to do a regular barrel for right now. Um, yeah, we'll just, I just want these running. So that way we have the materials whenever we go to expand. These will work for right now as a nice little, uh, temporary solution to this problem. 
Just wanted to say thanks for making good quality content for all these years, my dude. Uh, always love the positivity and dedication you give. Caligator, thank you. Appreciate that. I love the problem solving of, of making videos and stuff. There's a lot of behind the scenes problem solving that you don't see. You see a lot of it here on stream, but you don't see it typically. And I have a blast doing it. I have a blast doing it. Speaking of problem solving, that's one of the things that we're going to get to do today. Work on cake automation, which is all listed right here. We need to get a cow in a jar. We have cows back at the other base. Um, and do we have a way of picking up mobs? I'm pretty, pretty sure we do. It's the ender lead right here. So we can pick the cows up. Um, jar. We're going to need to get a couple of those, actually. So any plank, glass... That'd be something actually nice to have. Sand. Okay. Um, man, getting material generator set up for just about everything is going to be great. Which we have tons of sand over here. I'm not like worried about sand. But anyways. Um, Kins? Is it Kinsme? Kinsme. Thank you for the, the, the tier one sub. Appreciate you. Welcome to the crew. Thank you for that sub. Hello. It's baby version of you. Okay, uh, we can flip the lever, Kronk! Wait, no. Is it Kronk that does it? I need a bucket of lava. Probably want to set up our lava. Kids, set just up again. gave out Holy five subs. Holy smokes! To me dot twitch dot TV user notice <laughs> hashtag chosen architect. Kinsey, thank you for the gift sub, the five gift subs, you boss. Appreciate that. Oh, it's pull, not flip. Oh, yeah, it's pull the lever. There we go. That's that's what it is. <laughs> so we moved all of this over with just like a single like motion, like a, a just a, a single contraption. We had it all moved over, by the way. Thank you for the subs. Jeff H, thank you for the prime, by the way, for three months. I appreciate you, boss. Turn into glass. Glass. I need glass right now. I need to set up like automation for this, like a hopper. But it would have to be like, can't be smelted sort of situation. We'd have to use a, uh, a shoot or something for it. <laughs> Wrong. Oh man. That, that movie was classic from my childhood. I think the, the cringiest part of that movie was the scene where they're in the restaurant. And they're eating that disgusting soup. And they bust the, they tap the rolly bug and the bug busts open. It's, it's something else. Sir Doge! Thank you for the bribe. Welcome, welcome in. Want to say thanks for the good content you make. Thank you. Appreciate that. I try my best. I'm not the best, but I try. I'm not the greatest at editing. I know I could probably do a lot better at editing, but... I try my best. Um, speaking of editing, uh, it takes so much time for me to edit these recent videos. I don't know why I put myself through the hell that I do, but I do. Your intros are my favorite of all the content creators. I mean, I, I try not to like have like a bunch of intros, but at least to this series, I was going back to the roots of like uh, recording better Minecraft and since it was made by the, the same studio I was like oh I'll do that but it, it doesn't seem like I don't know this recent mod pack doesn't feel like and, and I'm referring to the steampunk mod pack it feels weird I don't know what I don't understand like was there just no testing like what actually has happened to lunar Finally like remember to blow. I don't know Because there's that pack particular, I'm surprised it hasn't received like more updates considering how many people are actually like it's on the recommended list and everything. Lunar Pixels doesn't test their stuff. Like it, it was, it was, it's rough. Yesterday, it took me like four hours to record an episode because I ran into this problem. Because they didn't use FTB chunks, they're deciding to use some other chunk claiming system. Whenever your chunk is claimed, right and you're good you build a cart contraption so i built a cart contraption that mines 
Well, I'm like, just like you would expect, I picked up the car contraption. I was like, I'm going to bring it to my base so I can unload it at my base. As soon as I place the car contraption, if you place it inside of that chunk, it explodes. And then when it explodes, it deletes everything in the inventories. And I did that two times before realizing that it was the chunk that caused it. it took me like four hours to record an episode that should have taken me way less time. Because I had to redo that three times. Yeah. And I, I had to keep rebuilding the contraption because it just blows up the contraption. It just spills the items everywhere. You'll see it in the video that publishes, I think on, it'll publish on Friday. But I show how to explain it. What I think is I'm going to probably take that, that claiming mod out and map mod. And I'm probably going, well, I may leave the map modded, but I, I'm going to be using FTB chunks i think because it's rough whatever that claiming is and they were like i asked them about it and they were like well why don't you just whitelist the mod like i'm not developing your mod pack what the frick there's no gui there's nothing you want me to will you expect somebody to just know how to go into a config and change stuff people barely even know how to download them in the first place that was a little frustrating when I had mentioned it to them. Please tell me you left the... Fr oh, yeah, I left it when it exploded. Yeah, I left it. It exploded and I go, well, that's not good. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. That's not good. And then, yeah, I didn't show the next parts of, like, the struggle, but I did show, like, the solution. To how to fix that it was like i don't know i was like blown away i was blown i was a little blown away see i think i'm gonna have like uh the i'm gonna expand this like this and however that's gonna hook in and so on and so forth we'll figure that out as we expand through but this will be like a stair i can turn it into stairs I don't know why I'm doing this when I could totally just use ours. But yeah, anyways, um, we've got to go get a cow. That was something I was, I was a little frustrated about that yesterday. I mean, there's, I don't know. I've not been in contact with, uh, with them, the Lunar Pixel in a long time. So, I don't know. Like, I always have like, I, like, I always have like good experiences with like FTB, FTB team, always have good experience with them. I always have great experiences as well with the all the mods team. They're always really nice as well. Um, even the Valhalsia team was incredibly nice whenever I was playing those packs back in the day. But yeah, and, and Lunar wasn't too bad either when I was playing all the mods online, but this last experience wasn't the greatest, but who knows? Maybe they were just having a bad day. We all do. Uh, I need the place block and AOE. I'm out. Holy moly. Yeah, ours is pretty powerful. That wasn't even all we maxed up. You just switched to Ecmatica 9, not sponsored. Like, um, I've, I, I've played Ecmatica. I've never talked to the, uh, the team, but I assume they're, they're probably nice too. See, I have this idea that like everyone in the modded community just wants to help one another. I know that's not 100% true, but I I just want to always hope that that's the case. <laughs> uh, I have interacted with people, though, however, that um, it, that's not been the case. It's been like your competition sort of thing. They're like, oh, well, you're just competition. And like, that's disturbing to me. Like, bro, we're playing video games. Like, get the frick out of here. It's not like we're more like competitive grocery stores or something. 
<laughs> you're saying Buzz is trying to get me to say generic B sucks. I love generic B, man. Oh, man. He's, I, I've told him he's my comfort streamer, so I'll watch him whenever I get the chance to watch streaming or watch Twitch. <laughs> Shows Narc FGM. Taroxy. Some people may hate that. I don't know. I enjoy watching at least his stream. I don't know too much about uh, Jenny's uh, personal life other than he lives... He lives in a very interesting country. And moved there from the States, but... The whole, like, controversy and stuff around, uh, Ginny and, like, um... Hermitcraft and all that stuff, I don't... I don't, I don't know too, too much about. Um, nor do I... I honestly care. Um, so... I just enjoy watching the streams. It's, I think the same thing was, uh... I think this guy... I, mean, I remember watching him, like, back in the day. Apparently he did some like really awful stuff, but like that's, it's no reflection to the people watching, you know, it's not like we knew what was going on behind, you know, I don't think anybody should be persecuted for who they had watched in the past. I think it was like, I am spoon or something like that. I think I remember seeing his streams back in the day. That was a long time ago. Apparently he did some like really weird crap. Craig, what'd you miss? We are about to put a uh, cow in a jar. Cow in a jar. Um, now, it doesn't show us the recipe for it, but this is the cow in the jar recipe. We need the jar. So we need milk. We need a glass. Uh, I need a couple more buckets. Uh, with me having this on, I should have had stuff sieving. I don't know what's wrong with me. Is the stuff sieving? Oh, it's full. No? Oh. Oh, I wonder if my hoppers are a little borked. Yeah, I think the move, like, really messed up the hoppers down here. That's fine. We'll fix it. Cycling does not like being picked up, apparently. With, uh, with a contraption. There we go, now it's fixed. So we don't get iron spikes anymore, so... Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna pick this up. We're gonna put this back in our storage. And then we're gonna be on our way! Uh, do another coffer. Yeah, I do. This doesn't have stuff in it, right? Oh, it does. Oh, that's right. It has our uh, our other R stuff. Um, I'm going to actually set that up over here. Well, actually, let's set it up over here. Let's do it, like, on this wall, maybe. Okay, so we have the, the imbuement chamber here. Uh, I think I can put that here. And then we have the three components. Boop, boop, boop. We can put the barrel here. No, I can't do it that way. I mean, I can. Probably not the best way to do this. Um, darn, chat. Let's, let's do it like this. We'll do the imbuement like this. Barrel on the bottom. Okay. And then we'll do these like this. And then we'll put the items that go on it. And then the hopper will go on the top. Like that. But we need three of these. So. Um. Great. I'm already messing up the entire build that we moved to.
Where do I put this? Three of them. Think, unfortunately, there's like three things. Requires three setups. Very odd. Is that really pulling from all the way over there? Holy pickaxe. Yeah, no swing through grass, no play. I mean, that that's a... Is that mod not in that pack? Are the pets disabled? Uh, no. Pets should work. But if, if a bee spawns, you really won't see the pet usually because of the way that works. Okay, yeah, I think I want to move this. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we can have it like have one in the corner, one here, and one here. Okay. So I figured out how I'm going to do it. So one here. Then we'll put one here. And we'll have one. Oh, we can't. Well, we can do that. I guess. I'm going to put one there. But the barrel is going to be turned one direction. Because that's just how barrels work. It might look a little funny, but. You know, what doesn't look funny? Right, chat? What doesn't look funny? Everything looks a little funny. Sometimes they just can't help it. We were all a little funny inside. There's a one here, one here, one here. And then we can put another barrel right here. Oh, hey, give me that back. Give me that back. Put one here. And we'll have this one right here. Oh, wait, this is going to only have two sides, isn't it? Um, uh, we can put, put it like right here. Maybe I don't know. Dealing with threes with these chambers are a little wonky, but problem I can figure out. We'll just do this. At least you can do this now. It used to require a huge, huge area. There we go. This is also wrong. Boy, I need, uh, I need some... Some of that uh, fix your luck drink. Holy smokes. There's no other imbuement that. Well, we do have this imbuement. So maybe we. We just extend this out a little bit, like this. And then we put it there, move these over. Yeah, I'm going to do that. And then we could have four of these, I think. I have to do a little bit of modifying of other stuff, but so yeah. Never mind. Welcome, my dude. Hope everybody's enjoying their potential spring break, which I think is what's going on right now, right? It's like spring break time. Uh, there'd be there, there. We should have this here. I can just put it in the wall. And then you... Can go here. You're a little different, though. You're not going to be, like, on something. Then we have this imbuement chamber. Imbuement, imbuement. Boop. 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 There we go. You got your last night. Quite satisfying. Working on getting home time. Ooh. My wife, she's got college off this week. The kids are off school. 
And I'm just doing my same old same old. I can't do that. I don't really. I mean, I guess I wouldn't mind taking a day off. Probably could, but... Roof doesn't stay on people's heads for free. I guess. Let's see. Wild and Horn. That, 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 that's this one right here. Ow! That should work. And we should be able to put a hopper up here. You don't get spring break until April. Well, here the spring break has started. What, my kids and stuff? All right. And I'm going to probably move this arcane pedestal and probably move these source jars into a much cleaner position than where they're currently at. This is all meant to be a little nicer and more more organized where we have everything. So it currently being where it was at is not very organized or very nice looking, so. Doing like a full revamp. Um, and then we have the redstone, which is a part of the manipulation. Wait. That's this one. What's the horn then? Wait, hold on, wait, what? Oh, this was the conjuration essence. Ew. Redstone button. What was the other redstone button and clock? And then milk, sugar, fermented spider eye. Okay, and then we go. And then we can go make our uh, our cow in a jar to get prepped up for some other stuff. They did add some really nice functionality in this pack, by the way. So now we have regular water wheels. So we have ones that don't actually require this like speed and stuff, which is going to be very nice. Very, very nice. Um, also, before I do that, because I want to get some material smelted up that we have dusts of. Um, I want to get a. A shoot. Um, let's see, we can't make that. Right? Oh, yeah, we can. No, we can't. Uh, I think we have funnels. We have one brass funnel. So we can use this one brass funnel that we have. Oh, no, we have this. Oh, wait. Yeah, we can. What am I thinking? I, I forgot we have another recipe. I'm a dork. Okay, I can make this. Hold on. We need a shoot. Okay, we need, uh, we need this. We need this right here. Perfect. I did make those. Okay, so I want to use a shoot. And we need a filter, an attribute filter. And we need that attribute filter to be a uh, an, a dust. And say can be smelted. And if it can be smelted, we will deny it. We need to add the attribute first. Denied. Okay, so we'll set up our shoot and then we'll have this go into a chest, a double chest right now. Or let's put it in a gold chest. We can put it in there. Um, and then we will funnel the items in into here. Um, so I'll put this here and then we'll put our attribute filter in. I gotta get some cobble real quick. I do want to get another layer going down underneath here so we have some access for things like this, but...
This is how this is going to be for right now. So I can get down here. There we go. So that'll do, that'll go into there. And then we need a hopper. That's basically all we need. And then we can just do a regular barrel. And then that'll send all of our goody dust into that to be cooked perfectly for us. It only does one at a time, doesn't it? Um, it's actually not going to work, I don't think. Well, I mean, it will work. It might be fast enough. I don't know if doing a whole stack is faster. Probably is. Do 16 at a time. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta, if I do that, I've gotta do things a lot differently than how I'm currently doing it. Okay, so the the way I want to do it is I'm going to send a kind of a funnel going here, and then we're going to have a block space, and then we're going to have a barrel or the funnel, and then a barrel. Um, and the cool thing is about andesite funnels is brass funnels, believe it or not, can send out the exact amount needed and andesite funnels will accept that amount. However, they will only output one at a time, but they can accept up to 64 at a time. So you can use that to your advantage here. Um, this takes up a full block space. This would be the next block space. So I put this up too high, didn't I? just need this space and then a barrel oh my god <laughs> okay so there we go now if I put this in here I gotta just not use my magnet anywhere nearby and let's set this to 16 or up to 16 And then that should convert it. It is going to let the items hang there, but it doesn't take five minutes. So they shouldn't despawn. I don't, I mean, I could just make another smart shoot. I'm a, I'm a dork. <laughs> somebody's like, well, that's what they make those for. Shut up, chat. You know, let me be dumb sometimes. I'm not I'm not the smart person you think I am. I'm a smart person pretending to be I'm a dumb person pretending to be a smart person. I can't help it. Wait, wait. Oh wait, that's right. These can't be uh like filtered on the uh, the output. It's fine. We don't need it. We just need it to go through here. Perfect. He's playing a dude. <laughs> the dude is playing as another dude. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> 
Oh, dude, that movie is something else. Wasn't that from like Tropic Thunder or whatever it was called? That very good movie, man. Sky is another dude. Your little guys are getting a little sassy this episode. Dude, they, they are pretty, they're always sassy, man. All right, we should have dust. We should have plenty of dust. There we go. Perfect. Uh, let's see. What are we at? Ow. Where are we at? 22. Okay, so we'll just repair them real quick. Um, andesite. Can I make more of this? I should be able to, yeah. All right, we just need to make sure we've always got dust and stuff flowing through this. It looks like dust is flowing through it, but like... Oh, I never put my coffer back? Oh my god, I swear this... It's one thing after another. That's right, because I put the coffer over here. We got, like, lost in what we were doing. <laughs> my typical. Every time. Always. It's one thing after another. Alright, there we go. Now we should have, like, everything going back in and things are sorting out now. I like that we can jump so much higher now. That's so good. Okay, I needed, yeah, more of these shards. Everyone, um, how are you feeling? Devilish, welcome. Hello. Um, hope you've been feeling better. Have a nice weekend. How are you today? I'm doing good. My weekend was very busy feeling. I recorded some episodes. Uh, I ordered the desks for our, um, our family room. That's going to be interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Let's do the cow. I keep getting distracted. Um, jar, right? I need, I need the thing of milk. So I need to maybe make another one of these ender. Can I make leads? I can make this. We've got to get crop set back up. So I can at least get two of my cows. Um, okay. So we have our leads. Anvil. I don't think it consumes the anvil, but we do need an anvil. I need the two buckets because I'm going to make like two jars. I don't know if I'm going to need that many, but I'm going to be using two jars. Oh, I have a chair that needs to be put together if you want. Oh my God. No, I don't. Uh, desk building stream. No, these are the desks for the family game, the family uh, computer room. So I got the painting done. I got the baseboards all done. Everything's done. Um, I think I think I posted the image on. Uh, I don't know if I posted it with the baseboards, but that's done. Now I'm just waiting for desk to show up. I feel really bad for the Amazon guy. Oh my god. Baseboards trim. Yeah, I got the it got it painted. It got the trim done. That was like 250 bucks for freaking trim for a one room. Good God, dude. Trim is... N dude, baseboards are expensive. That was nuts. For the for the cost of the entire one desk. Your neighbor used my uh, table saw for baseboards? Dude, like, it's... I don't have a table saw anymore. When I built this office, I nearly lost... Uh, nearly lost my uh these 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 right here nearly lost that it went right across all three of my fingers scared the hell out of me for table saws so i don't really mess with that anymore not a huge fan of table saws chat are right, we gonna grab some cows i mean if we if we grab a crafting table actually i have my crafting table so Let's do glass. We can probably just do it there. How much are the jars? Glass. Planks. 
We can just make the jars while we're there. Yeah, table saws are scary, yeah. I, I I have my miter saw. That's that's all I really need. For almost everything, I I have no need to rip boards. I don't I don't uh I don't need to rip boards. No need. Okay, so let's go ahead and fly on over. Fly me to the old base. We're gonna grab a few cows. And I'm gonna drop an anvil on them and squish them down. In other words, I need their milk. So did you get um, complacent or did you kick the boards? Wait, what? You put your hand funny? You're afraid of a miter saw? No, a miter saw is easy. Did you get the... No, I cut them perfect. No, I'm really good. I'm really good at using a miter saw. Oh, no, I've got like a... I've got a decent miter saw. I mean, I bought it several years ago. There was a good deal. It was like 200 bucks. Came with a massive... Uh, a massive table like the miter saw sucks unless you have a a miter stand for your miter saw and I have the I have the stand for it so mine extends out like 16 feet and you can you can run a 16 foot board through the thing easy that's pretty great bought that several years ago Okay, um, so let's grab some milk. We'll do three just in case. I'm assuming this is how they want you to get milk. I mean, I guess you could milk the cow with a deployer, but... We're going to save on needing to have rotational power being sent to that, and we'll just use a pump. Pumps are really easy to deal with. Romy! How are you, dude? Hope you're doing well, man. Good to, good to see you back. So, um, well, how am I been? I've been doing pretty good. Been, been living the, living my best life. Trying to anyways. Doing the best I can. Uh, this should work. Boop. Now we got a cow in a jar. How convenient. Now I got to do this a couple more times. Oh, I don't have... I need to breed these. Dropping anvils on cows is crazy. It's good. It is... It is, um... PETA... P, is it PETA? It's PETA qualified. Certified. Acceptified. PETA, PETA qualif- uh, PETA approved. Yeah, that one. It's PETA, PETA fine. I don't like saying that. That, ex that one sounds a little weird. 
Mmm. Cows in a jar. Delicious. <laughs> Big J drummer, dude. Welcome. Welcome with the prime. Thank you. Thank you for the prime. Welcome to the crew. I gotta grab this. Um, we will come back for some more of this. There's a lot of stuff here. I want to get farms built, except this time I want to, like, automate them. And we should be good. Ah, oh, little guys. Little guys everywhere. All right, so now we have the milk jars. So we should be good there. Might as well grab a handful of this on here. Might as well. I'll grab all of this. It's so one thing we don't have is like at the other base, we don't really have an area for water. But this is where we kind of get to terraform and like design our own little area at the other Sky Island. Sort of. I think that would be fine. Off we go. What launcher do you use? This is FTB launcher for this pack. You have to use the FTB launcher. I use Curse Forge for cur for any other pack that's not FTP, and the FTP launcher for FTP packs. Yeah, I, I mean, I, as much as I would love to recommend other launchers, it's really hard to. I've I've been using the FB, or the Curse Forge launcher since the whole like third party finasco fiasco happened, where like third party launcher stuff was not really when they changed over that whole situation, where they were like mod packs that you may not be able to download all the mods in because of that. So I switched over, um, and I, everything's worked fine on, on there. They've been actually doing a really good job of maintaining that launcher and. And I can't complain at all with that, so. All right, there's this, this, this. There was four things on this. I don't remember what all four things were, but if I look at the linking tool, it was tallow, anvil. Anvil. That required an anvil? Okay, an anvil, tallow. Okay, that's what it required. So I'm gonna set this one up right here. My goal is to make the floor look a little better, but all good things come with a little bit of time, right, chat? Ow, why are you hitting me all the time? Why are you guys hit me so much? Stay back. I think it's funny. They just, like, smack you every now and then. Okay. Uh, GD launcher still works. Um, you have all your FTB packs and other packs on there. Thankfully, it doesn't hit you with the ads. I mean, the ads aren't... I'm never looking at the launcher for very long. You only see the ads whenever you're on your, your launch page. That's same on FTB launcher. I don't know. Doesn't bother me any. And if I cared about the scraping of the data or whatever you're referring to, I wouldn't use Facebook, so. <laughs> I mean, honestly. You, you just shouldn't be on the internet. Did this already process everything? Oh, it's getting there. Look at that. 
So much good stuff going on there. Okay. All right. Oh, I should take some of that iron. Do, do we have iron that's being processed in here? We'll just do an entire run of iron and an entire run of gold. Those all need to be converted. Uh, how are we getting dust from the ore there? Uh, this right here. So I have a occultism uh, demon that I am using an andesite funnel to drop down onto here. And then this guy collects it. Uh, he'll pick up the ore that's right there whenever his like inventory isn't full. He'll pick that up. This also won't drop another single one until this one is gone. And then he uh, he drops it on the ground. And so this is set to only pick up dusts. How do you move the demons? I used an ender lead. Try an Omni Hopter with an Empty Tracker upgrade once you unlock it. Perfect for Occultism Crusher. I mean, this is also perfect for the Crusher. I used this in all the mods 9 and it worked fantastic. Um, you can also, whenever we get access to the shrinking tool, you can shrink down the bigger demons to fit into this perfectly. And you can use glass trap doors where you can see the process happening, which I like. This is literally contained in like a one block area. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Uh, let's see. How expensive are these? Mm. They're up there. They're up there. Okay. So, cake automation, right? That's something we need to work on. Um, I was going to think about this these things backwards. So, we are going to need a... We're going to need some water wheels, some more water wheels, and all that fun jazz. Oop. There's no undo on this. You whoopsie doopsie with that, you're stuck with it. Perfect. Beautiful. Oh. Starting using odd or R's for this mod pack and it's so amazing having a break slash pick up alone is one of your favorite utilities. Oh, it's, it's great. It can do all kinds of stuff. Way more powerful than you probably even know at this point. I call it like a computer program. You build out the computer program using the 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 functions, the built-in functions. Um and so you use the functions and then you write the script. You write your um your program. These are your built-in functions. These are like you writing out your program. Like I don't know, interesting. We're building your own function 
it's there's a lot you can do and then like later on you can even have it split into like multiple different things that it does also getting the r's gear is really great It auto repairs itself. All of the tools repair themselves. Um, if you absolutely wanted to, which I still need to do, I really need to make the enchanter's wand so I can just make this my break spell and just put break item pickup amplifies on it. And just so it's a multi tool for breaking everything. I'll get to it eventually. Okay. So, uh,. Now, thus starts the redesign. Oh boy. This is a entire redesign. How big do I want this to go? This is just the middle right here. I, I do want to extend out to this side. Or we'll have more on the other side that's going to link into this. Right here. This will extend as well. Hmm, probably end up breaking this whole bridge area down. So I'm gonna need a lot of room. Okay, so making icing. This is gonna require a sweet berry farm. And a sugar cane farm. And then we have our milk. Okay. And it's just a regular mixer, no heating required. Okay. So we need a sweet berry farm. And a sugarcane farm. We have sweet berries. Sugarcane. We can put this all in one farm, which is kind of nice. And then to make sugar, we can use a mill. Probably one of the best ways using create to do it. And then that produces icing, which will then is how we actually icing our cake. Okay. And we can do that over here. Um, I think I'm going to need to make my create tool kit. Can I make toolboxes yet? I can. I also want to get a tree farm set up too today. I still don't have casings automated, but we can do this all by hand for right now. I think ours, I should be able to place all of these logs down with ours. It's not what I wanted to do, but okay. Let's place all the gearboxes down. Might as well. All right, with that in the offhand, All the lag. If you hold, if you use like a macro, it goes nuts.
All right, are, were belts still Kelp? Yeah, they were. Uh, I believe we have a smelt spell. Let me go ahead and make that real quick. So we'll do a touch sensitive. I believe on the smelt, does sensitive, let's see. No, it just needs, it's just regular. Okay. See what I mean? About ours? Shafts go here. Um, and then I need... Iron Nuggets. Oh, did they change the recipe? done that incentivizes is using belts okay belts are so laggy Help you're using RS to autocraft AE parts. You got this. You got it. You're doing great. I believe in you. That'll go there, and then... I forget what I put here, but for right now, I'm probably just gonna put indesite casings here. Nice. So now we have a, a toolbox for create weirdness. Okay. So, um... We have two different water wheels. We have these. Requires an invar rod, so we need a roller and then invar. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Get that in var rolling. What if we build a giant wall of these water wheels now that only have ASE? <laughs> Somebody was saying that they showed an image of them building out an entire chunk of, of water wheels. <laughs> Rawhide. <laughs> Rawhide. I was like, what have we done? So for any of our create contraptions that are farm related, 
We can do it a couple of different ways. We can just have it spin and do the crop. Um, and then use a uses collectors. Um, we could use like, can we make a hopper hawks? I mean, the best bet is to probably just use, I mean, it's so I don't have to deal with like create itself. Where is the, there it is, absorption hopper. We just need to use absorption hoppers. These will cover a seven by seven, so we can just let the farm like do its thing. Now for the tree farm, we can't do that. Chosen makes minecart contraption farm. Um, you can do a magma farm that is infinitely scalable that way. Magma farm. What magma? About this? Mega. I can, but I think they meant mega, yeah. He's saying the rail cart contraption farm doesn't break down. Oh yeah, true. I forgot about using like the mine carts for auto farming things. See, there's just so many things you can do and create and I always forget about some of those basic aspects. We do have these water wheels though that they produce just enough stress units to, do, to make rotation farms. Which I like. I love my rotation farms, chat. I don't know. I don't know what it is about them. They're just easy to set up. They're just fantastic. Just can't get away from it. We had a quest, apparently. We had a radial chassis. I don't need that, though. Don't need that. We just need a sugar cane and sweet berry farm. I don't remember. I think the harvesters work on sugar cane. Yeah. Should we make a tree farm first, though? I don't know. We need oh, a lot to do. Yeah, sweet berries are pretty easy. Be a barbarian, go pure vanilla. Dude. I bet people would. Just make they they build like an a giant a giant zero layer tree farm. You saw a vanilla tree farm that just use nine by nine building using redstone and azalea bushes. I don't know. There's a lot. Okay, so I got my bearing. I got my windmill. We got our glue. We need create. Probably gonna need more casings. You always need more casings.
This is why we need to get that tree farm up and running. You know, let's just do Andesley. This isn't the only way to get Andesite, though. I can use a mixer, right? Just link the image. Okay, good. All right, perfect. Charlie, how's your day going? I'm doing pretty good. I'm just enjoying like playing around here with uh with this expert pack. All right, so I guess over here we could place the tree farm. Might as well. We'll do a tree farm first. We'll just do an oak tree farm. Plain Jane oak, tr oak tree farm. By the way, I think the join messages <laughs> were removed in the latest update. I guess some people people were uh, a little spooked by the the random join messages, which is funny because I played tricks on my kids while they were playing Minecraft, and I would uh, go on like uh, a, a a device I'm not logged in on. Um, like for example, like my uh, my iPad for the the piano, and I would log into it. And I changed the, the username to Hacker. <laughs> and while they were playing on the Xbox, I could join their LAN world connected to the Wi-Fi. And it would say Hacker has joined. And it, it would freak them out. They're like, a hacker's joined! Hacker's joined, Dad! And they would run to me. <laughs> and I'm just like, I don't believe you. I don't believe you one minute. No way. That's impossible. And they're just like, they're just freaking out. <laughs> Yes, I I am evil. I am evil. <laughs> it's it was good. It was good. Oh man, nothing like tricking your kids. All right, I need uh, logs. Does it feel like it's permanently dark here? Do I not actually slept? You thought that was magic wood? No. Acacia. I think a lot of this wood came from our, our base. Okay, first things first, tree farm. Let's see, this is gonna be a little bit more complicated to do. Uh, let's see, modular routers. I'm assuming that those are like way advanced, yeah. Um, disabled due to claim protection bypass. Oh, shoot. There is this. Okay, I think I'm just going to do, let's see, create. We're going to have to use a little bit of logistics for this. Um... You can re-enable it by enabling fake players in FTB. It is. 
I do have my uh, fake players enabled. I think. Yeah. Have you have to, otherwise nothing really works. Yeah, deployers and stuff don't even really work, I don't think. And Let's do a three. Our first deployers. I've got to get that furnace set back up, kiln. Did I not bring it with me? No way, I forgot about it, didn't I? Dang it. Well, we're going somewhere else. Fly me to the base. Oh, good God. I wish we had uh, some scrolls. Then we just teleport there. Even like maybe a blink. I don't know if blink would blink would be fast. I wonder if that book, the Ender book, is disabled in here. Can you make a phytogenic yet? No, I don't think I have any thermal unlocked. I need the break spell. Oh my god, I hate that freaking thing, dude. God, that startles me. God, that startles the crap out of me, Chad. The Enderman? Or the creeper, I mean. Good God. Let's go and grab all this, too. Like so many farms we needed to get going. Are there grenades in this pack? Yes. Through thermal.
Like once we get scrolls and stuff, we can use this area. We can warp back to it and we can get some of these areas used. Can't right now. Goodness. I want to like technically redo this whole thing right here, but it's going to take some time. Needing a basic tree farm. Well, we, we got the netherite, uh, technically the netherite, it came from, um, whatchamacallit, uh, Rick. Oh, what? The netherite uh, came from a sky as in loot, which we can go find another sky island technically. Um, since we can basically fly. Cousin, do you have a YouTube video where you go over the create mod? I struggle with it. Well, my current series right now, um, steampunk, I go over the create mod. Like, um, the whole pack is basically create and immersive engineering, but I'm just doing create at the start. So hopefully that helps the steampunk series. The guns in steampunk mod are so OP. Kind of. I actually ran across a mob uh, that nearly killed me. Because even though I shot him, he started running frantically. And his hits were basically one shot. Took me down to literally a half a heart. It was a troll. It was just called a troll. It's goofy looking. Okay, we'll put the kiln back up. We'll just have to set these things up as we re-encounter them and need them again. That's, uh... It's the unfortunate part about moving, which I could have just stayed there, but... We had all the stuff set up, I knew where everything was at, now I've got to redo it all, but... I think in the long term it's going to be a better situation being here. We gotta get that tree farm. I think I got everything. Okay. We can actually set these out. They will go ahead and collect milk. I need to make more red glass. So glass and redstone. Need a hammer. And coal. All the villagers all I see is free real estate. Hey, I was about to place that there. The cow in the jar doesn't hold the milk they produce when you break them. Oh, it doesn't? Oh, okay. Dang. Oh, well. well. At least we'll have milk for whatever we want for right now. 
till we get that whole structure set up. Okay, uh, so uh, we got a ton of crap, a ton of stuff. We just need to do things with it. So um, back into the create mod, right? I'm making more of this glass because we need it to make those components. I am needing deployers. We need casings. I'm out of storage. For whatever reason, this is... Uh, let's get raw materials. Yikes. We don't have barrel upgrades, do we? We have the irons chest mod, but we don't have like the ability to upgrade barrels. That kind of sucks. I need to make more of these guys, bookworms. Book and quill. I gotta make sure I don't run into those saplings. Two more of these. Boop. And then I think my Dominion Wand is in here. Alright, we're not linked to this chest. So now we should be. Maybe not. Now we are. Okay. So many chests. There's a little bit more storage. Uh, can you make the Super Uber R storage chest? The the chests that are basically one, they're double chests and one block. I can. Yeah. Ours is in here. The libraries, whatever they're called. They are in here. Look. Also, this is still... I what they're called. What are they called? These. Repositories. Ah, yeah, because I, I, I try to think of it as like stepository, st but they're repository. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two totally different things. I, I, I understand. Okay. So now we have the three deployers. We need the saws. Same thought process. 
Okay. Um, so we have the placing. We have that. Uh, we need our mechanical bearing. We need our regular water wheels. And we don't need to be fast. Um, we do need the inventory. Whatever they're called. Interface. I can't make drawers yet. Okay. Do I want to do spruce? Wouldn't it be better if I just made like spruce logs and we just stuck with spruce? I feel like like that would be good. Because I do want to use spruce. And not anything else. How do I get spruce saplings? The market. Hopefully this exists. We can do some interesting things actually with this. We'll need, f we need two. By the way, this repair is just in soul fire in general, right? I think. Yo. Um. Redway. Redway. Red. Redway. <laughs> or is it ready? Ready. <laughs> Basically. Oh, good God. Me butchering? No, I would never do anything like that. I'd never butcher names. Redway. There we go, right away. I'm trying to think, how would I do a schematic that is a two by two? I guess we could build out two schematics. Uh, we can do this. Hey, 
Hey, I am working on something, Four Gemini. Lego. Thank you. Appreciate you, Gemini. What? They didn't give me all the saplings back? No way. No way. Why would the saplings go away? with this probably next to it i hate the growing requirements on these freaking trees it's so dumb all right that's enough to get me some barrels which is what i need i need some barrels so some very basic tree farm to set up the real tree farm. So we can do a spruce farm with a single deployer. May not be super fast like uh, uh, any of the other farms, but that's fine. We don't really need it to be super fast. And we could probably get away with one saw. One saw, one deployer. Create. Okay, um, so I need to think about this for a minute. We can do a, let's just a, assume we have the wheel right here, or we have our bearing right here. Right, we have our bearing right here. We have like a log. It's running across. We have the saw, which I'm pretty sure the saw, if a, if a saw is right here, it should be able to mine this block right here. And that means our deployer should also be able to reach that block too. Okay, so this block right here. Okay, so we'll just do a, uh, a tree farm like that. So it's like one block to the corner. And we'll use a schematic to place in the uh, the logs. Uh, saplings, I mean. So we'll have a sapling here. Sapling here. And a sapling here. And a sapling here. Then we just need to make a oh we have to do the schematic crafter so we'll select this Spruce saplings. That is now saved. And then whenever we load this in our schematic table, which I have no idea where that went, should be able to do this. You hope it's a wolf? You got a pig instead. How sad. Oh, I have it right here. 
So we'll load this. Uh, this will be the spruce saplings. We generate that. Uh, and then we place it in. And whenever we place it down like this, it's ready to go. Um, it's still showing that they're there, but they're actually not. Okay, so let's go ahead and design this. We got to get a water wheel down to the bottom. It's going to be kind of a pain. We need to get some creative flight in our base with ours. Uh, we got to fix our mob farm, though. Is it gated any? No. Oh, shoot. We should definitely do that. We have plenty of, of source. I mean, it's localized flight, so. But flight is flight. All right, so perfect. Now we have exactly what we need. Um, the direction that it spins, it really doesn't matter right yet. Let's go ahead and break this. Uh, do I have a, I have a water source right here, right? Do you have any travel anchors set up? Ooh, I can make them. I will set them up. Okay, that's plenty of rotational speed. We'll get our bearing. Perfect. Uh, oh. No way. Wait, then why? What? This costs 32. Oh, interesting. Never mind, that changes our entire plan. What about the other water wheels? Uh, the other water wheels will break down. So this is... This just means we need... To, to make a tree farm. Well, now you're down here forever. To make a tree farm, we need four? Um, I mean, I have enough. I just, I don't, I didn't do that on purpose though. I didn't know. I can't cast these vertically. We'll have to like change this whole thing up. Wouldn't the bigger water wheels make more stress if they weren't all disabled in this pack? 
Thank See? you for all the amazing content. Good, sir. <laughs> Thank you. That's the confusing part in this pack for me is like, is the here's create, but creates limited severely. But you're not limiting like the, you're making it harder to just do the automations in the first place because of the, uh, the stress limitations. That's the part that's a little bit more frustrating. They want you to do the diesel generators, but these particular farms, unless you're doing a cart assembler, which I could do a cart assembler here in the same like setup. I could do a, a cart assembler, but I just don't want to have a cart running around, but that's on me. That's on me. The diesel generator, you don't even have access to until later on. We're working towards getting there. Oh my god. Um Chosen Arc love Chosen Arc wow Chosen Arch level. Hey Dosh. <laughs> Thank you for the three three mighty months. I appreciate you as well. I love extra packs, I know, right? I don't have a problem with it though. I'm figuring things out. We're getting things to work. So we, we can have our rotation, but at a cost, a little bit of a cost. All right. Um, I still want to build this the same way. Keep picking up those darn things. I gotta grab my toolbox. I don't know why I made this create box only to just leave it over there. Vertical gear box. That should be all we need. And that spins the, I think the opposite direction. I actually want this spinning. They're all generating eight SU. Yeah, you just need more of them. We'll get the same effect, just like that. The nice spinning blocks that we want. Okay. And then let's go ahead and grab andesite. Because I like using this to build the blocks out of. And we will build this out here, keeping in mind that it, it doesn't need to be very big. This block should rotate directly over this point. This point. I think it does. Let's glue it together and make sure. If not, I have to extend it out a little bit further. The salt cord tests the defense. Hey! Unfocused. Aha. It has to go out one more. Then that should work. Testing the defenses. How's it going on focused? Oops. I need to start the build right here. needs to go over this block right here. Perfect. Right on the money. So, this will allow me to use my deployer, which I put in here, and my one saw. 
You've been getting a lot of requests for your mod packs at work lately. You've been getting a lot of requests for your mod packs at work. Oh, oh, nice. I just pushed a big update on it. That's right, I forgot you said you work at the, the server host. So, right here. Inside of here, I'm going to put my schematic. That, that is housing this. Um, and then we can have our probe right here. Our kissy kissy. Um, and then we can have our inventory that that takes it um how do i want this set up though do i want two i think i want two and i want one to only pull I'm going to need another one of these. We're going to separate our, our materials here. If we're going to be messing with contraptions, we got to be a little bit specific with it. Okay. I can do it over here. I don't think it's going to pass the redstone signal through, so... I'll try it right here. Um, so this one is going to have a filter and it's only going to pull out the logs. Only going to pull out spruce logs. This one's only going to pull out saplings. And then we need... I don't know how the redstone stuff is going to work on here. A 61 is not in my name. I'll be right back. Oh, God. Okay, I need... um. What is it called? Threshold switch. Can I make you? Good God, that requires so much of that material. A lot of manual tediousness. A dash sixty one. Just there gave out one subs. Hey, our sixty-one, my dude. <laughs> Thank you for giving that so that sub to see Jazz. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Okay, so we need to read the inventory. Uh, we're gonna read saplings on this inventory. Then we need to send a redstone signal into this smart shoot to shut it off. Um, so we'll set this to only keep, let's see, if, if the storage, I think we need to invert this. Keep it locked until set this. So, um, give it a redstone signal to lock it until it hits 20% filled, then dump 10% of that, and then go back to locking again. 
on the saplings. I can't use a redstone torch on this. Can I use this? Yes. So that is being sent a redstone signal. When it shuts off, that will unpower. And we should be good. Wasn't there something we could use to not need a saw? It is a saw, right? Hey, there we go. So this should work. This should keep it in stock. Uh, we just need to give it an inventory. Um, so like a barrel. To keep it in stock and we should be good. Hexrite has a saw that works much better. It's like a stone cutter for wood. Hmm. So right here, I'm going to be using the schematic to place down the very specific even though I'm a little concerned here because none of these have grown so I'm a little frustrated by that right now Is amazing. All right, let's see. I'm gonna pull everything, I'm gonna glue everything together so it should be good. the saplings in oh it the saplings didn't grow because there wasn't any saplings there <laughs> oh that's so goofy Now let's test it out. Excuse me, sir, but I have seemed to lost an, lost an hour of my day. Do you have a spare one? I do not. Why did this take two hours today for us to get done? Does it not feel weird? Like, I don't know what I... Did I blink and two hours has gone by? What the heck?
concrete is so time consuming though. Nice to see you working on a tree farm. Yeah, we got it. We got it up. It's going to uh, take some time, but it should work and should be just fine. Yep. It keeps the uh, the saplings in stock, only places them in certain locations. Looking pretty good. So now we have access to finally a lot of wood, which is great. By the way, thank you guys all for the subs today. I know I didn't say that enough. Thank you, guys. Um, there's the interface. Oh, we get given some nice things for that. Okay. So now we have, oh, now we have spruce. Oh, I already had one. Oh, whoa. <clears throat> so that's just one farm done. I mean, I guess we could do a cart farm. So we need a, we need a, what was it? We need wheat, berries. We also need to get our eggs over. Okay. So yeah, we're just, we're just going to need wheat, sweet berries, and sugar cane. So I don't think I should do a rotational farm for this. I think create cart assembler is going to be our friend for this. And then let's hope they're not crazy expensive controller rails. We just need a couple of controller rails and regular rails. So we need an area with seeds. Um, that is going to be seeds. Sugar cane, an area for that. And then we also need... Sugar cane we can do like in the middle. We don't need like a whole lot of that. Um, And then sweet. Berries. And I think that's all we need outside of having chickens drop eggs which we have a bunch of. And that is because we need this sugar and we need wheat flour. So we need, we're going to need two, two, I don't know if I've ever made like automated cakes. It's always been like a thing that you do, but or you see in the trailers, but I've never, like, done it. I guess we can do that over here. We should use this plot of land to kind of design this. So, let's say we have a... How do I want to do this? The outside edge, if we have this spinning, we can have it spinning this way, goes around, loops, and we have three different types of crops here. Oh. 
We could have the cart like completely rotate. Problem is, is like the, um, like to build out the harvesters for the sugarcane, it requires its own sort of thing. It, it needs to be at a different level. The harvester's got to be at an upper level. So, I can make it maybe Sorry, you're having a uh, scroll moment, but is there a mod that makes mine carts and tracks go upside down? Like, can you have an upper that makes mine trap mine carts go upside down? I I don't know. I don't think there's anything in here that does that. I think I'm just gonna go with. I'm trying to like think of a, an idea for like a, a the farm, but I, I think just having the middle section here be sugarcane would probably be the easiest way to do this. trying to like fit all of these crops all in one little area which is probably not a good idea but um i need a water bucket actually two water buckets then i'm gonna need uh, a hoe aka your mom Some grass. You should be good. So yeah, this uh, this can be where the crops at. Water one two, water one two, just like that. Then the rest of it is one crop on one side, one on the other. like designing oh yeah sweet berries they don't need uh to be planted on farmland like this but we can okay uh is there any like sprinkler what would you have uh consumes water and grows nearby crops consumes water Oh, there's also, um, reactive to sunlight, promotes crop growth. Yeah, oh, gross. All right, well, this thing exists, um, and then we can put a cart assembler right here. 
Uh, let's go ahead and kind of design this. Um, so for right now, I'm going to design the cart facing this direction. But I would just have it going the opposite direction. Technically. Okay, so uh, that way we don't break our crops, I guess. Might have to place it on a starter rail going right here, pop probably. It'll be a starter rail, gives it power, and gets it going. I think that's a good idea, actually. Get our starter rail going. By right, the way, we'll build it right here. Okay. So, with that in mind, hey! Right. Don't give me the goods. Gave me another shard. Okay, this uh, is how this is going to go. We're going to have a cart like that and like this. And it's just going to be one harvester here. And one harvester here. And that should be... It. I don't think when this. Ooh, this might actually try to chop this down. So we'll have to bring this out. Like one more here. And that's where we can probably just add more crops. Right here. So great seeing your creative process. It's a lot. There's a lot to kind of figure out, but I like this. I think sweet berries will be fine. So I do need to bring this also out one. Now that I see how that's going to work. Weed's probably going to be the thing that takes the longest to grow. Um, harvester on the bottom, harvester on top. All right, and then we'll place down our rails. We'll have to fix that whenever we get that going. We'll use a controller rail in the center. Controller rail. Ooh. Controller rails are kind of nice. Because they, they, for one, they force the direction. So you won't have to worry about your cart contraption flipping around on accident. At least you shouldn't. All right, and then we need to worry about how we're, we're going to output things. Um, so back here, let me go ahead and fill this water in. So this is where we're going to send to our different locations. So we need sugar to be processed. It looks like um, sweet berries just go straight into the, the mix. So that's its own thing. But the we need to process seeds. That's going to be produced. We need those to go into a separate container. So we need we need four connections on this. We need four interfaces. And we can have those just funnel right into a barrel. But I want it to be on this level. So the interface will probably go up here. So that means we can have seeds. Let's grab some shoots. We'll have to use uh, 
advanced shoots. Smart shoots, I mean. It's a lot of kissing machines. It really is, isn't it? I mean, we could... We could probably just dump everything and then have it filter from there with a controller. That might be better. How, um... That actually will probably be simpler. Uh, never mind. Am I generating SU? I'm going to be using the rickety water wheels for right now. No, we do not have that started yet. That requires seeds, so we still have to have some sort of farm. So. They're annoying to maintain. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Okay, funnels. Shoots, I mean. Shoots, shoots, shoots. Probably just They only break down every 30 minutes if you batch process and use clutches. It's not too bad. Yeah, and I've got clutch stuff set up. We're working on it. It's not that bad, no. It's just like you have to go in and repair it when it stops. It, it really is distracting, though, when you're, like, working on a major project and you want to make sure everything is still functioning. Especially with Create. I get distracted very easily. and Maybe that's just, like... I mean, I am trying out an expert pack, so, like... Typically, this would not be something that I would play. Because it's like, I can't... I have to go... I go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Because my brain just isn't wired the that way. Okay, so we got sugarcane, berries. Okay, that should all lead... For right now, let's just say a bar... Let's just do a barrels... And then we can output from those. All my seeds over here so we can hopefully get some diesel stuff going. Okay, so right here. Boop. We can have the three main products output here. The barrel. 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 Before it makes its turn. It should maintain its momentum, even though they stop for the kissy thing. It should still maintain its momentum on here. Which is interesting that it does that, but it, it should. So this should be seeds. We want sweet berries and the sugar is going to need to go here. Sweet berries don't need anything. And wheat needs to be over here.
and then sweet berries will go out in the front. Okay, perfect. All right. And so that's our farm for right now. Uh, it also needs a storage. We should be good. Uh, you have a display link set up in your hub area, which displays my current SU. So you can easily see if things are broke down. Oh yeah, that'd be interesting, wouldn't it? I wonder if that would be a way, I mean, I guess that would be a way to detect that it has gone, it has ran out. Can the water wheels be repaired? Yeah, you use andesite alloy on them. Thankfully only one now, you only need one andesite alloy. How's our tree farm doing? I haven't even been paying attention. It's not the fastest thing in the world. I should probably have like another sapling being placed like here. I think that's within range. Right here. And here. Yeah, I think that's within range. And I think it's far enough away from each other. That's not a big deal. Let's go grab some glue. The goat. The quantum goat's like a flurkin. Just waiting for like tentacles to pop out of its mouth. Okay. That should be good. Everything's linked, right? Wait, what is this? Yeah, that should be connected. It's weird that it looks like the card is similar itself is connected. Good to know as far as you replace them as a... Are there any better uh, storage methods in this pack besides ours? Um, early game, there's, uh, like, at the same place I'm currently at. Um, you, I think this is a bit earlier. This is, like, early, early. Uh, there's, um, integrated dynamics, which is an option. I gotta get a lever. So I need a lever. in a cart. Mm -hmm. Already had one, but we'll probably use another cart later on. Okay. So now what we should be able to do is place this in, like this. If we give this a redstone signal, we should be able to place our card in and it just go. I 
That is not what was supposed to happen. Uh, do I have to change the mode on here to always face towards motion? Pause anchor while rotating. Lock rotation. Pause anchor while rotating. Oh, I didn't power it. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> oh, that's right. They're not powered. <laughs> Oh God, this is why you don't push something without having somebody else double check your work. <laughs> Derp. made so many of these and made all those mistakes i mean I, same i don't typically i like to do the uh, rotation farms uh how far along how dead are you you're not dead dead you've got a lot of life left in you okay so we definitely need to take from there and mill So we're going to need another set of water wheels. Hey, one more. create box and we'll start creating this is not in a place that I really want it to be right now I've got to maybe put the water wheels over here so it gives me some room to ratio them up I mean, does this really need to be that fast? Probably not, actually. Uh, let's send the rotation through a gearbox. Uh, this needs to go on a belt that is going to process. So we'll have a output here, two blocks, the processor. And then it needs an output. Same has to be for the sugar cane. All right, and then this I'm not worried about just yet, but these two are important because they need a mill. I've got to go here, here. Um, we can do a...
I can't do a single block in here, unfortunately. So it's going to have to be two inverted gearboxes. Like that. Well, I mean, I guess actually I only need one. Because that can go over to the next one. Okay. Uh, and then we just need funnels to maximize everything. You know, a kelp farm would be really nice too. We need too many farms, Jet. We really need a kelp farm. I'm gonna make one real quick. I'm gonna make a small little kelp farm. Perfect. I don't know why I'm getting the water when I do have a water spell. Bad habits, man. Let's do a, let's see, a projectile. Uh, do, 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 do. Grow AOE. Pierce. It's not working on that. Maybe it's not the pierce. The AOE's not working? There it goes. I could probably do like that break at all. Uh, probably a delay, right? It needs a delay. Let me get all this stuff in here real quick. Probably make a kelp break spell. Be kind of cool. Uh, let's see. AOE. Let's do delay. Uh, duration down. Break. Uh, AOE. Nope. That is not what I wanted. That's weird. Okay. Whatever. Who 
needs an automated kelp farm? Yeah, who needs one? No need for that. I'm wondering why this does not... Can I do sensitive? Cause the farm to target blocks they normally can't target. Projectile orbit will target grass and touch. We'll target fluids and air. No, that's not what we want. Is it cut? Let's do cut. Simulates using shears on entities and blocks or damaged on shearable entities. Uh, maybe not. Break is probably what we're wanting. This probably is a weird delay. Oh well. Some good stuff right there. Some good stuff right there, Jet. It's one of my favorite spells, too. Smell is so ridiculously powerful. Okay. Uh, so that should be enough funnels for right now. gonna send that down the line um can you use smelt on ores too yes mm -hmm. yeah i don't have to do this technically yeah for example like on gold i wish there was like a plate mode like this will also turn our cobblestone This will, if you put, I believe it is sensitive on here. Maybe it's not. Is it touch? Is it amplify? It's supposed to be able to convert cobblestone, but maybe there's something blocking it. Smelts blocks and items in world. AOE will increase the number of items in radius. We smelt it at once. Amplify will allow the smelt blocks of a harder tier. Oh, it's a slab. Okay, I, my my brain. Yeah. Okay. So since it's a slab, yeah. Good God, chosen. What's wrong with you? But yeah, uh, I don't think there's like a crush spell. Like they make, they can make plates. Like it would, it would show you. What is it called? Sheets. Every mod calls things differently. Yeah, there's no like R spell. That'd be cool though. Okay. So now that we got this, um, oh, we needed a lever for that clutch. We should be able to clutch this up. 
Uh, and then the rotation direction, I don't know just yet. We'll figure that out here in a minute. Uh, we can go ahead, I guess, right now. Oop, that is not where I wanted that. And that's actually going the right way. Perfect. So, when making the cake, um, we are going to need to divide some things up. So icing needs sugar. The batter needs sugar. Um, the batter needs sugar and flour, so that could be an easy split, I think. And then wheat. Um... Oh, this does give wheat seeds as a byproduct. Uh, we are gonna have to. F we'll have to figure that out and send that over. Let's see a belt, tunnel. And the create stuff just takes up so much space. I think this will let me place this here. I think what I might do is we do a belt here, a belt here, um, and then we say, hey, only send seeds out here. Is there a good way to transport, transfer items with RS storage to MA storage? I show it in... There is no good way to do it, but I do show it in my All the Mods 9 Let's Plays. Um, there is a video that has that literally in the title. In the All the Mods 9 playlist at the very end. So that'll keep the items flowing in the appropriate place. Now, sugar... You might as well also receive this. That way we can split our belt lines. I might just do that here too. All right, uh, this will end up splitting the sugar. And we will set this to distribution mode round robin. This just needs to be set to split, but we can't split the stack because this is only gonna ever produce so many. We wanna make sure it evenly distributes to both sides. All right, that part is done. It's really hard to build forward and create. Um, 
Now, sweet berries. Uh, sweet berries are right here. And these are going to run into this line, which is going to cause a problem, isn't it? I forgot about this being here. We can always go above with the sweet berries. This is just for icing, right? So... You like combining other things with create? See, I'm like almost the complete opposite. I like solving the problems with create because it feels like it's more fun to do it that way. But I honestly don't have a lot at my disposal right now. Like I should I don't think I can make No. I don't have really anything at my disposal right now to be able to really play too much. I'll insta-kill it with this. Loot pinata. Not a, I don't like that pendant. It'll light them on fire and then it can cause problems to me. They'll punch me and set me on fire. All right. Hmm. So that should have the ability to send out our sweet berries. But we need it to go into a mixer. Uh, multiple things need to go into a mixer for the icing. Sugar, sweet berries, and then milk. So we have our sugar. We need our sweet berries to also go in here. So sweet berries. This is extra sugar. Actually, this is our sweet berries and sugar. So I think that's actually solved right now. Let's make some more belts. As much as I hate using create belts for everything what we got right now. Okay, well, let's get a mixer. No vanilla chicken catcher thing? You love the egg catcher block? It makes it so much easier. We have it. It's at the other base. I gotta go back and pick it. I gotta go get it. We need two mixers, right? So at least for the icing, we're pretty much good.
We're good. Um, there will be a funnel here. Funnel here. And then I'm also going to need a trap door. Is the rain shield on? So we still haven't gotten like hardly any saplings. We're at 44 though, so it is working. It's just not insanely fast, which is fine. I just put a trap door on here. Prevents the items from jumping off. Um, that's gonna go into the mixer, and then we just need to pipe in our milk. So we can just use a pump for right now, or we can use a uh Actually, instead of using a pump and getting even further into the create stuff, we can just use these amazing fluid transporters. I don't know if we can create many of them. Oh yeah, we can make them. Ooh, I like these. Right? Look at that. We could even fill it from the bottom, too. Which... I think that might actually look a little bit better. Remember, frames cost extra. extra. <laughs> okay, so there's that. Um, getting the rotation over to this. We just use a uh, vertical gearbox. It's ugly, but it works. Okay, and that'll mix those into icing. Icing will be in there. Okay. Back on to more cake. Uh, now to make the actual cake itself. So this is going to require eggs. So three different spots going into back of it. Um... And also milk, right? And it also requires milk. Okay, so to leave the face available on this, we need eggs to be produced somewhere back here. Uh, is what we're gonna have to do. So I will do this, and we'll just figure out where we're gonna put the eggs back here. We'll do the same setup, though, for the milk. So at least milk will be done back here. Did I grab the other milk container? I did not. Okay, so we'll just have to have, like, a, a kind of a chicken... Chouare, is that the word I'm looking for? Where the chickens are right here, and then they are basically on a hopper?
So why do we need cakes automated? This is for uh source or for mana. Mana automation. Okay. Very nice. Uh, this is basically cakes. Uh, okay. So we are going to need an assembly line. So we're going to need a pump to pump the liquid out of there. We need some pipes. I don't have a whole lot of them, but and then we need a spout, and then we need a. We need this to go onto a depot. We need a fan. And we're going to have to smelt this cake. And so we can have this actually just go straight onto a depot right here. Seems odd, but that's going to mix that. That'll go on a depot. We can then have a fan that is blowing lava onto it from underneath. I'll figure out how to set the gearbox up for all of that stuff. Uh, Cause I don't know the direction that this is actually gonna be spinning yet. This will be spinning here. That spins that way. So I've got to get the rotation over to this, which is gonna be interesting. Don't burn it, yeah. I mean, I could cook it from here. But... This will toss. God, I hate that event. That will toss extra sugar out which honestly is not it would prevent everything from getting backed up so you know what actually having that there might not be a bad idea to it'll it, it's it's gonna be, it's gonna take on two purposes it'll take on voiding extra sugar that we can i mean we'll use it later but or should i just i should be storing that sugar shouldn't i Uh, we'll just use lava here. Yeah, we're going to we're going to do that. We're going to use lava trap doors, fan. Fun fun. I'm not going to put the lava here yet, but it's going to look like this. Um and then this is going to have a pump like that. This will have a spout. Nope. Spout. And then that's going to receive that. Um, I would be able to get some rotational power. 
That is not going to happen though right here. Shows there'll be a new episode today. There is a episode of this on the second channel, but no episode today. But there will be tomorrow. And there should be the rest of the week until Saturday. So I've been taking um, Saturday and Monday's videos off. So I've been, pu I've been publishing five videos a, a week. Which allows me to be streaming. It's... I wish it was super easy just to hit the record button and bam, I'm done. That's not how it works. That would be nice. Wait, this is going to try and pull milk, isn't it? I don't think we can actually do it this way. <clears throat> Also, this has to be pressed anyways. I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm like jumping ahead without even like looking at everything. Like I can't do that here. It produces a liquid. I'm a dork. I need a basin and a press. Now here it would be nice if um, we had more of those fluid. Can I make this? It's pretty expensive. How am I getting redstone again? I've already forgotten. Sifting dust gets me redstone. Now, I think I can put filters on these. I can. Cake batter. You can't drag the... F what? Buzz? Are you still in here? Yeah, see, that's going to put the milk in here. Uh, I guess I could turn this on real quick. I gotta power this mixer.
I don't have the eggs yet for the chickens. But, th but this should be working. Unless I don't have enough sugar yet. Possibly don't. Okay, now we have cake batter. Thankfully that works. Blacklist, whitelist. Okay. So that is whitelisting that, specifically. This needs... Sugar. Oh, this doesn't have rotation. Well, that's a bit of a problem. Um... the wrong way this is not okay and then I could probably just yeah I could just have like a thing maybe that goes here ground cake icing okay interesting let's shut this off so that part is working and done looks good we're gonna have a great day your youtube videos keep up the good work you love them thank you panda okie dokie um so with that major process basically done aside from the eggs um now we just got to figure out how we're going to do our assembly line for the next step so we need the icing what i could do is i could use the fluid here i think that might work in a tank So we'll just do a tank. I create tanks fine. Keep the create aesthetic. And we'll use these for filtering, which is kind of a little bit better than I think using the create ones. Oh yeah, I gotta make this. Like that, and then this here. I'll grab my icing in a bucket. Change this to a different fluid list. And there we go. Now we got icing going in there. And then I can use my pump directly on the top, connected into this. And then just we need to route it to wherever we're doing our smelting. So, how about I do a little bit of a belty line here? This also needs to be a press, right? Press. Don't know what's best on rotation for you. Mm -hmm. I got an idea. On how to get the rotation on this. You love create, it's entirely, or the only bad thing is it requires so much space, it's absurd sometimes. Yeah, it really does require a lot of space, doesn't it? For, for like, automations like this, it requires a ton of space. Being a sky block, it's like, it's a lot. For me, it's the problem solving that I really like. The more I've learned about the mechanics of this mod, the more it's made problem, so problem solving easier for me.
Okay, that is now solved. I don't think it will sit here and wait. If we have it just sent to a depot, though, it will. It's just sent to a depot. Then we can smelt it with lava. And good with this, we can get rotation off of here. Don't know if that's the right direction though. We'll, we'll just find out. Nope, it's opposite, okay. That's not good. Also, whoopsie doopsie. Okay, uh, so with that being the opposite direction, dude, I just got that event. What the heck? That's too frequent. That event is something else. Um, we could probably do this with a gearbox. It's it's jank, I know. But that will rotate. Them creepers scare me, even though I'm not playing. Dude, it's ridiculous. That's a ridiculous thing. Event. All right, and then we'll have our spout. And then we just need to have that sent off of here. I don't think I can have, for example, like... I do have that creeper sound, I guess. I don't think I can have a funnel. Oh, I can. Okay, so... We can use this and we can have a filter on here that is filtering completed cakes. Perfect. And then we just got to get our fluid that's coming off of this, route it down here. Just like that. Perfect. All right. Get low on the track. Unfortunately, I can't, like, just put this icing in there. Um, let's see. Unless we had, like, an ender tank, but we don't have that just yet. There's an occultism ritual. Interesting. Um, this would actually work, though. Oh, we have to use create to do that. Never mind. The it
Yeah, the, you can't just like put it right into the basin. Doesn't work that way. However, like I said, I'm pretty sure. Um, there's a lot of different tanks that can auto output. Um, if I remember correctly, I think. Thermal is a big thing, or not thermal, um, immersive engineering has a wooden barrel. And I think the wooden barrel lets us do that. the hammer to set oh it's outputs on the bottom so it's inputs on the top it's outputs on the bottom which is interesting but it does auto output lord of wolves lord of wolves my dude welcome back 37 months man thank you for that All right, let's get some chickens. And I think that's it. Like everything should be just working. We have 12 seeds. We have a little bit of wheat. And then we got to just like figure out how to speed our crops up, right? I think, um, I think there's some glass from like cyclic. That like does this, this right here, which requires like the, the Terra and stuff like that. I think all works. Hey, babe. Wife's home on a spring break. That's not the only way you get this, is it? Saturated, what is it? Oh, it's the, oh, it's the peat bog. Oh. So it's just from the peat bog. How much glass do we get from that? And lime dye. You get, you get eight. Okay, that's actually not too bad. All right, we should get that. Uh, we can get that started right now, I think. That should, we can go ahead and pull this out. Dry peat bog, that is the moss, right? And we need uh, charcoal dust. And eight flowers, right? Yeah.
Looks like we are making a little redstone repeater. Um, integrated dynamics. Hopper. Barrel. Are these barrels or are these just... Oh, no, they're just tile. They just look like barrels. Oh, this is how you doing, man? I'm doing pretty good. Triple Trouble says, hey, Chosen. I've been recently playing your mod, Chosen Adventures mod, and there is uh, a new version for it. Um, I can transfer the world. I am already playing on the new version to the new version. If you're using Curse Forge, you just use the update feature. I don't know... It doesn't modify. It doesn't change anything other than the files that just were updated in the pack. Shouldn't it won't touch anything. Like if you've added things, it won't touch your saves. You just update via the the launcher itself. If you're not using Curse Forge, I'm sure they also have update methods. They're pretty easy to do. Yeah, if it says like update. There should be an update button. You just like update it and you don't have to worry about anything. It just does it everything for you. Mm -hmm. There's no manual anything. You don't have to like make a new profile or anything. Uh, where do we want to put this like out of the way? Maybe like back in this corner. Uh, was it specifically charcoal we needed? Biomass, right? Um... Oh, there it is. I mean, there is coke dust. It produces a bit more, but. Wait. Chosen JM can be crypto. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, so now we got that working. Uh, this is basically to um, generate more material. Flowers. We have a ton of corn flowers. Let's use those. And it needs to go into this mixer. Yeah, no heating. Could use bone meal. Bone, that's coke dust. That's eight. Let's 
actually the same. Let's just use uh, bone meal. Perfect. Uh, we need to turn that into some peat bog. Uh, let's do... Let's make a little area over here for that. Yikes. Uh, did I mean to do that? Perfect. Now we got a place for peat bog. Uh oh. Hey. Uh, Crippy. Welcome, welcome in. Thank you for the prime. Appreciate that. Um, could you look at the armor stand squeezer for a second so I can understand how to copy it? Oh, okay. It's just uh two armor stands on the squeezer, and then I am using a redstone to reset the squeezer. And I'm just using a very simple redstone clock. If you want to, like, use a Windows Shift S and screenshot this real quick. It's very easy to do. Make sure this is on the, uh, the lowest setting. Does other clocks work? They do. This is just a very, very simple... Redstone clock. This is about as simple as a redstone clock, I think, as it gets. And the delay on that works perfect. Okay. Doing good on sweet berries. Not so good on sugar cane, and definitely not good on wheat. It'll be nice when we have that growing, I think. Wheat farms are always kind of meh. <clears throat> okay, now to make the the peat Right, we need to turn this into peat. Dry peat. It is dirt, biomass, charcoal dust. There's a recipe now. Dirt, biomass. Oh, we have some. Oh, we have plenty. Okay. So we just use this to make the stuff here. And then we need cactus. Green dye. It was regular green dye, I think, right? Lime. Might be enough. Hmm. 
Right, this is the perfect height. I think this works this high. God, I hope so. Fancy greenhouse, yeah. It only works during the day, though. Well, hey, bud, that's mine. Is it just for looks or does it do something? No, it does something. That should increase the growth rate of our crops. Should. And it seems like it's working. I don't know if it's going to help our sugarcane any. By the way, is my farm not harvest that block right there? No, it does not. Interesting. I'd have to move that move it back one to get it to harvest these corner blocks. I might actually fix this contraption real quick. Make it a little bit better. Did I update my soil? Oh, I did not. Is there uh is there the fertilizer in here? Oh, I should put the red fertilizer on here. Oh. Look at me not reading anything. If it was in the quest, I'm sorry. I haven't read anything in a moment. Oh, a moment. Dude, he straight up just trampled my crop. What a loser. Look at me, I just trampled my own crop. I'm a loser too. <laughs> no. I'm just breaking everything. Alright, this will this will be a much more functional setup here. Perfect. Ooh. <laughs> Hope you break things. How dare you? Okay. 
There we go. Uh, but I do need to uh, fix the the, yeah. <laughs> I need to put the red fertilizer on there. That would uh, that would also help. That'd make it even better. Okay, lots of random stuff all going on right now. Um. Okay, that's easily made. It's not gonna grow our sugar cane any faster though. Uh, and we don't have snad, do we? <laughs> no. You got 6k crew points to waste? Well, have at it. Go for it. Wow, that was exactly the right amount. Boy, she's a cooking now. Look at that red fertilizer working like it's supposed to. Nice. That combined with that's probably amplifying each other. Snad, the greatest mod in the world, dude. Snad. Rip Snad. It's not been in a lot of mod packs. I don't know why. What happened to Snad? Was there a disturbance in the force? Is there like a specific reason that it's not been in a lot of mod packs recently? Most people think of it as a meme. That's sad. It's not really a meme. All right, that should now be like absolutely plowing along. Okay. Um, so we need to basically just exchange this out for a, um, like just an ender chest and then we can put the ender chest we can have it go into an ender chest i think this would actually be a perfect use for this ender chest that we got i believe out of loot And then we just got to get chickens. And as soon as we have chickens, this is a cake making machine. Oh, we do need, uh, we need an inventory right here. I think actually, no, I'm going to have this rotate. I'm going to have this rotate here. Um, let's actually turn this on and... Put a gearbox right here, possibly. And there we go. Let's see if it makes our first cake, chat. Did it already make it? 
Wait, what's it doing? Is it deleting it? Oh, I need smoking. Oh. Oh my god, I'm a dork. There we go. It was deleting it. Cake automation. We just gotta get chickens. So once we have chickens, then it's good. Oh, here we go. Now we, we still might have a problem with sugar. They both use three, so we shouldn't have a huge issue. However, this does seem like this uses to make a cake, it uses half, and this batter uses a whole. So we will run into a issue possibly. Well, I guess not. No, because that'll run into this, and then just the rest will end up going here. So this will never actually bottleneck, I don't think. Let's go get some chickens for eggs. Right? Because we have to have a constant supply of eggs. And we can't make them. So we have chickens back at our other base. We just need to bring some interleads. Grab up a couple of chickens. And then we'll breed them. What are the cakes used for? Dude, this is force for mana. For mana for Batania. This is actually pretty epic. Getting this is pretty epic right now. They changed villager trades? Yes. So when you have amplify, it's like moving me sideways. You have that many amplifies? All right, chickens, you're coming with me. <gasps> Sorry. I scared that one so much he pooped an egg out. I mean, I would take this, but we don't really need it. If we have them all in just one block space, but that's a lot of eggs. That's kind of what we want, though. We want this. And it would be nice to have a void barrel, but I don't see that being um, very viable.
Didn't know you finished the last pack. How was it? Are you talking about all the mods nine? Arcane Engineering? I haven't finished Arcane Engineering. I have not finished Arcane Engineering. I just wanted to play this after last Friday. Arcane Engineering is going to be like a long term sort of thing. So it's going to be like here and there. We've already got a huge portion of end game pretty much done in Arcane Engineering. I would I wouldn't even I don't even know if we were in end game. I really don't know what to call it. All right, let's get our chickens in. There's one. There's two. There's three. These are 100% free range. They have, they still have free will. It's just they, they don't know how to open trap doors. So whenever they learn how to open trap doors, that's when uh, they can use the will they have. I cannot make the R scrolls. As much as I would love to have that, can't make them. Yep. Believe me, I would have. They are blocked. It shows that you can craft them, but you cannot. Oh, the free range is sicker. Yeah, they're free range. They're just they have free range in the pin. Ooh, diamond. Ooh, piece of candy. Apparently, crows are incredibly intelligent, and they can even use tools. Yep. Also, they lack the digits to really, to really advance like we did. Oh, man. Rip the crows, man. If only they were smart like us. This has a weird texture thing, doesn't it? Reactive to sunlight promotes crop growth. Crop growth. I do want to replace these with barrels eventually. So is there no way to accelerate the sugar cane? Even though that does produce the most. Oh, nice. Garden cloches don't seem like they're that, like, bad, right? I mean, you have to have the power for them, but garden cloches actually don't seem all that awful. You got your sugar from sifting? Do we get sugar from sifting? What? Oh, sugar cane. You get your sugar cane from sifting. Oh, yeah. Oh, does the grow spell work on sugar cane? <gasps> it does. interesting never tried spell turrets so don't listen to me that that would work yeah a spell a spell turret would work on that yeah you can set timers on spell turrets and everything there's a they're actually really useful you do have to, however, have a consistent source of 
source, like being routed around. But with the mob farm, like we have plenty of source. Okay, uh, so cakes are done. Uh, we now have cakes. Um, and they are being produced. Um, now we just gotta get our mana? I think what I'm gonna do is... Use a deployer. And I don't know... Like on these regular water wheels... I'm gonna assume like 32 stress units maybe on the lowest speed. Um, we use a hopper or actually use a um, shoot. Okay, I've already made a shoot, so why are you just now prompting me that? We also have a new method now, like so. With Batania, we have the cake, the floating Kekamoris, but we also now have an elven mana spreader. Kind of, kind of OP. Okay, uh, so mana pool. We can have a Kekamoris right here, and then a mana spreader right next to this, and then we'll link this to here. This is already linked to this, and then we can use a deployer right here. Oh god. <laughs> nice. Rival Lion! Welcome in! <laughs> Thank you, by the way. The three mighty months. Welcome back. So we're gonna have that there. And then we have to have this, like, one block. So there's that. There's an air block. And then there's this. Right, and then that will place a cake. But it'll only place a cake when there's a cake there to be placed, like able to be placed. Um, and then we can use a gearbox. Let's do a vertical gearbox. Vertical gearbox and a shaft. Okay, we're out of shafts, apparently. I just wonder, we don't need that to be rotating very fast. We just need it to rotate. And I don't know how fast this one water wheel, like, I don't know if this can even be done with one water wheel. Well, that's goofy. Let's get some building blocks. Really? Water wheels self-destroy? Yes, but not these water wheels. Not these. These only, however, produce 8 SU. Which are kind of inconvenient, but... It's okay. We'll get over it. I just don't know how much SU this actually needs to just function at the rate that the water wheels spin. Hopefully 32, but we'll see. Oh, wrong spell.
Let's see. Okay, so it's going to need at least one more. Overstressed doesn't tell me how much stress it's going to take. Wrong water, wrong spell. There we go. So four. Seems like most things require at least 32 SU. Okay, and then up here, we'll use a shoot, and then we'll have our cake be placed. It should eat it. And we have mana. Zine, welcome in, dude. Dude, this is interesting. All right, so long as we like repair our water wheels over here and keep them repaired when they break, we can then keep this going. That opens up so much, yeah. So four water wheels can only power... No, no, so these water wheels are not normal. These water wheels are not no normal. Uh, Kawaii Pickle, thank you for gifting Zine. Appreciate that. Is he? You gotta love that dude. Eh. Let me go. No, I'm just kidding. All right, well, I'll put you down. <laughs> but yeah, that should that should go so long as. Uh, th by the way, yeah, these water wheels, uh, they only these in this pack they they've got them lowered to eight SU. These produce normal, regular water wheels, which are still pretty garbage because the large water wheels are where it's at normally. But yeah, <laughs> sir, I did not ask for uppies. <laughs> well, uppies you got. Oh, oh, this just broke. Okay. So, yeah, I have to repair them with andesite. So, we're going to need like a repair toolkit, aren't we? I need a toolkit for, for this darn stuff. Boop, 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 boop. Now they're all at 100%. Thankfully, it was lowered. It used to cost like four inside alloy per to repair it, but now it's been changed. So as long as this is running, as long as our cart stays producing our crops and everything is good with the world, and this all stays running, we should be fine. Right? Should be fine. What a mess this is, though. And now we have mana, so we can summon in the bosses. And we got lucky that we got this. I'm going to say we got really lucky with getting ender chests. That's another thing. We should find another sky island because we have now technically unlocked uh, the ability to find extra loot in the sky islands. Like, um, we should be able to find alloy in the sky islands. Now I have a mana. T I can put, move my mana. Should be good. So, um, the the steam engine is gone. There is no steam engine. The only engine that you have access to in this is a diesel generator, um, and the diesel generator requires you to supply it with biodiesel. And or other, I think biodiesel is the highest, which you have ethanol. So you're going to need most likely this is going to be the way to do it. You take yeast culture, um, which is all there's it's all pneumatic craft. Um, so you'll be making yeast culture from mushrooms and water, and then you turn the yeast culture with sugar into ethanol. And then you need vegetable oil, and vegetable oil just comes from seeds. Or through the pneumatic, which I believe is a little bit more efficient. See, this is... This seed oil... Is regular seeds, it's 25. This is 50. So it's a bit more effective to use the thermal pneumatic. Uh, 
Uh, but this is how you would make that. And then you need to make the ever-burning air, which requires you to smell the air essence, which is a, an imbuement chamber with this, which is as easy to do because we get tons of air shards, but we just have to route things, and that's where things get into a problem. So expert pack, uh, is this expert like you really need to work out solutions? Or is it expert that everything costs more, provides less, and is eight times more grinding to do basic stuff? No, this is like... Uh, so at the start, there was a lot of grindy, monotonous stuff, but it's, it's solving problems. I would say this is more solving problems. And it's a, it's a quest book simulator. <laughs> And a JEI simulator. <laughs> um, like figuring your way out around, I think is the hardest part of the, about the, the pack. I The quests at least are here, but I do feel like there are some points in the quests. Uh, oh, they, they added them. So they did add them now. This These weren't in here when we first started. So now there's a link. We can now link to the chapter where it talks about this next step. So they've done a lot of work in improving the experience because I think there's a section here where you make this, you, you get to a certain point. Like I think it's this chapter and you're like, what do I do next? Like you've no idea. It doesn't make it super clear. So they've, uh, they fixed it with the quest links. It look like, but yeah, this whole first chapter took me like just to get to this point. I think the like imbuement chamber was like nine hours. Probably could have been done faster if I like rushed it. it. Took a it took a hot minute to get lava. I still have to reset up my automation. I started on the island over here, uh, which I didn't care for too much. I didn't care for the design of the island, so I like. I was like, I'm just gonna move to the sky islands that we got to find, and you use a broomstick to fly to those. And same in the Nether, you go to the Nether sky islands, which is broomsticks as well. You can get two. Um, I don't know if there's fortress in. The, I don't think there is a fortress in the Nether. But yeah, it it, it gives you like Zine. It's it's actually kind of nice. You know how you always have to build a, a freaking mob farm. Well, they actually give you a prepackaged one. You just have to kind of configure it to work a little bit better than it does. But they do give you one. Which is kind of interesting. I don't know why it's not kicking on right now. It should be working. I see it flickering in the back. But yeah, they do give you one. I wonder if there's like a lighting issue in here. Why is it bright? Weird. I wonder if um the hopper because this isn't a thing we need anymore or this probably causing the problem. But yeah, they give you a prepackaged one. Pretty cool. You just have to kind of modify it yourself. It's pretty slow at first. There we go. Yeah, that fixed it. It's pretty slow at first, but um, if you modify it and you tick, you you redstone pulse the dreadful dirt from mob grinding utils. Dude, it goes insanely fast. This is only three dirt. I have to shut this thing off and then we're using a source from the Vitalik. I also will be getting my power from that mob farm as well. Once I fully get everything up and running, this thing is pretty wonky what it does. I think I can show what it does initially. If I break it, 
This thing is ridiculous. We put these upgrades in here. Give it the food. It just killed them all and generated RF off of killing them. And it also drops the drops. And so you do get the drops and you also get this soul powder. And this soul powder is actually, it gets recycled back into a soul catalyst and refed back into the machine and it keeps it looping. Storm Galaxy, I just got into Minecraft mod packs not too long ago. In your opinion, what are some must play mod packs? Uh, Stone Block 3 is pretty good. Stone Block 2 is also really good. One of my favorites is Stone Block 2. Oh man, if you really want a crazy experience, SevTech Ages to the Sky. Crazy modded experience, in my opinion. Absolutely ridiculous. Uh, does Chosen play Spirit in older series? Yeah, the other series, yeah. There's Spirit in that, too. This is how you get these shards. Yeah. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Also, I think... Is this giving me player kills? I don't... It feels like it is. I don't know. I know on our blaze farm, we have a, a single piece of dirt spawning in mobs over there. All right, so I'm going to take a quick break, chat. I think some things that I want to get set up is, I, uh, I think on my board, we've already got cake automation done. It is absolutely done. So now, um, look at bio, we worry about that. We need to do mob farm management, and we need to manage our mob farms here. We can't make controllers yet, so that kind of sucks. Mm. I'm not sure I should go back to no create mod packs. Zine, good luck finding a mod pack that doesn't have created. Dude, every pack is created. I swear every pack has it. You're not sure you can go back to your pre -em. Every pack has it, sad. I really, I, th I think what we need to do is create a, just a trash can. And we'll use a, um, we're going to use a smart shoot. And we'll just make a filter list of what we want to keep. Um, or a filter list of what we want to trash. That'd probably be better. And then we'll just have it trash. Just drop it into the void. I think that'd be good. Um, but sending this to our main storage, I think... I, I don't really know a great way to do this. We don't have pipes or anything like that. We're just still stuck with belts for now. Ooh, we can make steel pl Oh, that's a fluid pipe. We can't make logistic pipes. And I don't think... Is there any logistical... Can we make these? Can we do this? Can we handcraft these? These are gold wires. What? Can we make electronic components? Seems like we can. It looks like it's double efficient doing it this way. This way is the way that... Okay, so we, we actually can make logistical pipes. We just got to get our steel production back up. And then I will leave... I'll get these back up and running.
We're getting a lot of room for this mod too. Take a break once I get this all set up. Tank. Put up on my hammer. There it is. <coughs> And let it lag. There we go. I still have a whole lot of iron, unfortunately. Um, I believe it is one block of coal coke. One block of cold coke makes two blocks of steel. Um, pretty sure I can put that in. That's going to feed into there. This is going to output, hopefully, and output the blocks of cold coke into the system here. Even though I should just hopper it into a, a barrel, probably, so I can manually do this. Either way, this, I think, will auto-insert the cold coke into the system when it's done doing its thing. It's very slow, which is how it is. Oh, wow, so this is only his fourth Skyblock pack? Played a lot of skyblock packs. Okay, glass apparently isn't working on here. Oh! Okay, that kind of sucks, actually. That's fine. I mean, we can fix this. Huh. We'd have to... Uh, we could change the filter. The attribute filter. We can add another attribute and then we need to make sure. Glass or sand. 
I don't know how I would manage that on the attribute filter, actually. Um, tag forge sand is tagged forge sand. We could say allow list or allow any. Deny list. We can't do a, a deny any. We can say allow ingot. Instead of what we have. Allow list any. Item passes only if they have all item passes that they have any of the selected. Okay. Forge ingots add. And then glass. Because I want this to make glass but not make the uh, the next thing. There we go. Forging it. Forge glass. Okay. Take a quick break. <laughs> I know it feels like I said that a minute ago. Your first one was Sky Factory 2.5. Yeah, that was the uh, 13. If you conclude this one now, yeah. I mean, I also played Chunk by Chunk, which uh, is on my second channel. If that's if you count that as a Sky Vlog. Okay, I think that's good. I think we're good. Let's do iron. We need a ton of iron. So, all right, chat, I will take a quick break. Uh, please don't kill me. That'd be great. <laughs> I need like some sort of suspend some. Oh, I actually know what to do. Trap door. I should be, you know, I should be fine. I don't think you guys can kill me in this world. All right, I'll be back. I'll see you guys in just a second. I'm going to take a quick break. Eat my food. This exists, then this exists. This is like kind of duplicating the redstone signal here, power, but taking in the value and then just immediately outputting on the other side. Oh, you have to use a torch at the peer to peer. Oh, that's okay. Um, it might be best if we pipe with create pipes out of here. I'm sure that wouldn't be too bad to do, actually. crazy that train sound almost triggers me and i don't know why i use it okay let's make our life easier let's put this over here all right so this will be a, a great place for our source i don't remember like i have the check mark which means It 
it does look. This song's this song sounds like every song ever from the nineties. You can build a regular You gotta set up a vanilla breeder. Okay. Welcome to modded where you gotta do vanilla things. Alright. Uh do 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 cobble diorite. Where did we even get cobble diorite from? Oh yeah, that's right. We broke. We broke diorite, and it gives us cobble diorite. Wait a minute. What? Oh god, I'm about to go. So Daystar Zero, oh, god. join the Daystar. hype train, chugga chugga, woo woo, and burn oh, five hundred biddies to keep it going. A sausage roll. What the heck's a sausage roll? What's a sausage roll? Sounds good though. I don't know what it is. Like like a breakfast sausage roll? What the heck is a sausage roll? That's new to me. Like I have the check mark, which means it does let me complete it if I reset progress. Major Carl, drop their cat and 10,000 bits exploded from it. Meow. Take me money, guys. Meow. Meow. Bada, bada boom. I'm running. I'm in a tight spot right here. There's creepers. Holy smoke. Girl! <laughs> Dude! What the heck? With the 10,000 bits, man. Holy smokes. Thank you for the utter chaos. Holy creeper. There's a creeper in there. Oh, no. Haunted sand, soul sand. Yeah, I know. I could just make a new one. Yeah. Can you get clay chosen to another pump? Let's make our life easier. Let's put this over here. All right. So this will be a, a great place for our source. I don't remember. Slowpoke joined. Ah, darn Slowpoke. What's he doing in here? What's he doing in my game? I'll have to teach him, teach him how to play the game. To teach Slowpoke how to play modded Minecraft again. Well, what that was about. Okay. So, um, I should have trapped doors. 
Um, how have you hooked up those portals to fast travel? Uh, you take a scroll and you shift right click in world, uh, set the destination on the scroll, recommend name tagging the, or naming the scroll. Then you take a source jar, set it next to the R's bricks in a portal formation. Already chat. What is this? Looted, what is this loser talking um, about? Who, what, you have a what? Full is, source jar and then you throw what, what the heck's that loser even talking about? Absolute. You don't know what he's talking about. Welcome back. <laughs> Looks like I got some friends. Some slimy boys. Hello. Perfect. All right. I have no idea what that. Yeah, absolute dingus. Yeah. I don't know where I heard the word dingus from. That's already filling up. Nice. This is not producing because <clears throat> so we have icing. We just have the cake batter, and I bet it's. Let's see, it's it's sugar cane. Of course, it's sugar cane. Yeah, it's definitely sugar cane. Um, can do. Do a spell turret. And then we'll make it enchanted. Are you kidding me? You're using those? How? Those are so far away. What? That's within range? Wait, was this just not the recipe? It's probably just not the recipe, right? You love the word dingus? I don't know what it is about the word, but... Everyone said it when I was a kid growing up, I remember. Hearing that word thrown around. Why are these in range? Okay, I'm gonna move this back. I'm gonna move it forward one, one, one more. God forbid you make an area actually look nice. God, you just can't do that in modded. Why would you? <laughs> I get, I'm getting punished for making things look better. Dang it. Typical. Typical, typical, typical. Typical, typical. Please don't reach this far. Dang it. How many times I gotta build this thing? Ow. Good God. So apparently they got a really big range. I don't remember it being that way. All right, so we got that. Uh, we need source jar. It's going to connect to our, um, our spell turret. And we're going to really amplify this whole build. This is going to be pretty crazy. Uh, we will get back to our mob farm stuff, but, uh, I kind of want to get this going. And then we got to figure out our mob farm solution. Like, we're only going to be able to keep certain things. So. Because I don't think we can make ender chests, right? We'll get there. <laughs> We'll get there. That'd be nice to make this. 
in your drawers in in your drawers sounds so weird uh we can we can shoot items from one location to another with ours with spell turrets I wonder what the range is on the source jar around a turret. Doesn't say, doesn't. We'll draw source from a nearby source jar. Turrets may use items. Okay, but it just it says from a nearby. Does <laughs> it doesn't mean it doesn't say? Hey, here's what nearby means. <clears throat> You've got to guess. You've got to guess what nearby means. You get a trial and error that bad boy. All right. Well, looks like we're trial and erroring. Mm -hmm. Chosen, you're a mod connoisseur. Do you know why AE2 is able to craft a full stack of items instantly from a storage bus, but the other mods like ours and Integrated Dynamics Force craft them one at a time? AE2 does not instantaneously craft an entire stack. AE2 does it one at a time as well. You just, you're not seeing it do it. It just does it really fast. I mean, shift clicking in the GUI. Some things use like a middle mouse button to access those inventories. I mean, I can, I'm able to craft a full stack out of here. I just crafted a full stack. This is a little slow in this particular version. <clears throat> they fix it in the newer versions. Probably gonna need like two source relays, I think. The range is pretty big on these pretty good but uh, we may need more don't know Okay, I'm going to have a spell turret up top. I'm going to need a timer. I don't know if I can make an Arf Tools timer. I may not be able to make this. Copper wire. Maybe I can. Just a couple of wire. All right. <clears throat> this would make it very customizable if I can do this. I can just use this timer instead of a regular vanilla one. It's also nicer looking. Uh, 
Perfect. Now we can just do it in one block. That'll be good. All right, I think I want this facing right here. Facing down. Wrong way. Can't I rotate you with like a wrench? I think the rotate, it's meant for you to rotate with um, the rotate spell. <laughs> Darn you. Okay. Um. I got a, I think I got a minor solution to this. I just need to keep trap doors on me at all times. Trap doors, the most underrated item in Minecraft. <clears throat> It's weird that this is like automatically up and open. That caught me off guard a little bit. There we go. I don't want this going like too fast. It's like a crazy thing to think of, but it could be too fast. Where'd my... Oh, I need another relay. Wait, you can speed up the source movement by ticking a tile entity with redstone nearby? Can you? Is that what I'm doing? No, no, this is a... This is a spell turret. This is going to, like, shoot a spell. <clears throat> Even more crazy, right? Oop, I didn't mean to clear the connections. You just right click and then right click to link them. Then that's going to click to here. Then that should send source into the jar. Perfect. This is going to be receiving source from the mob farm when it's on. Now we just gotta kind of filter the storage. Okay, so let's do a chest. Uh, we do have iron chests in here. That's probably our best like chest storage solution right now. We're holding a lot of crap. Okay. There's a lot of stuff that we definitely want to get rid of that's coming out of that. So this is where we're going to use a shoot with a filter. We're going to use the smart shoot. And I'm just going to send it into lava.
Whoops. Why didn't it pick that up? Oh, I didn't have item pick up on. Dang it, I hate when I forget. I completely broke what I was working on. Uh, these spruce planks are probably going to catch on fire. Oh, I wanna... eh, this whole thing will probably catch on fire, actually. Oh, shoot. Um, okay, never mind. We're not using lava. We're just going to use... We're going to use the, uh, the void. Yeah, we'll use the void. Alright, let's build our list of get rid ofs. So this will be a allow list. Only these things are allowed. So bottles. This. Uh, what else do we want to throw away? Not a lot, really. Do we need the jellies that's coming from this? That turns into slime and also smelts into those. So it's just more shards. Really? That's it? For right now. Everything else I kind of want to keep. Okay. So I don't think I can just like... I have to put this in and like hurry up and do that. They deleted a bunch of stuff, but... Now it should... Oh, I didn't, I didn't make the filter, did I? I'm a, I'm a doofus. Sticks. I mean, that's the majority. I just don't want arrows. That's probably going to build up pretty quick, isn't it? Right. Anyways, uh, that should run. That should keep that full. That should keep that full. Let's do a parchment. <laughs> and then we need to do a... We need to do a... We don't have to do projectile. Actually, let's clear this. Let's go to our grow. It just needs to be grow AOE AOE, I believe. Probably could do actually a bigger AoE. Let's probably do that actually. Let's see. Is casting and doesn't have anything to cast. Do I have to tell this to projectile? Jesus. Oh, okay. Wait. They will accept spells that use touch and projectile spells. Maybe set using an inscribed piece of parchment in order to cast spells. It must draw source from nearby source jars. Nearby. Is this just not nearby enough? 
<laughs> Did I just find its limitation? Set this to... 20? Spell must have a form. Okay, so it does have to have a projectile. Well, yeah, it has to have a projectile. Okay. Projectile. Grow. AOE. Okay, so projectile's not working. So do touch. I'm confused. So... If I have this set to projectile... So that doesn't work. Pierce? So I can't hit the sugar cane directly? Well, that worked. That's not what I want. If I shoot here. I swear we just had this working a second ago. I was like, oh, you can grow, you can bone mill this. So that goes straight through that sugar cane. So it has to be touch. Wait, that doesn't even work. So projectile. can't modify grow with sensitive. Dang. We can't have this place like right next to it either. Well, we could. Actually. What if we put the spell turret right next to the sugar cane here? And then... 
Uh, how would we give it a redstone signal? That's a problem. I wonder if the timer can be waterlogged. Oh yeah, there is a ritual. Yeah, why am I not doing that? I mean, it has a lot of particles. That is something that does suck. It has a lot of particles. Um, but that actually is a, that's way better. I don't know why I'm doing this. What is wrong with me? This is the problem where there's so many ways you can go about doing things. As soon as you decide, I'm going to do it this way, you forget about all other ways of doing things. Engineer's brain, that's what you're calling it? Yeah, that's, it's something. Okay, um... So let's get the... let's take our ritual. Is it normal to speed up an electrolytic separator? So give it a 256 at eight speed upgrades. <clears throat> an electrolytic separator? Is it normal? Yeah. Pretty normal. Um, some of the, so something to keep in mind with like electrolytic separators if it's from mechanism is there is uh, on the, on the wiki something that explains how you can actually kind of over upgrade stuff and there are machines that um that can be over upgraded unfortunately uh which is probably not what you're wanting to do but yeah uh and if you over upgrade you're just going to end up using more power than is actually necessary how big of an area is this does it work on sugarcane So this isn't working as fast. Uh, it grew it. We'll say it works. That's quite a bit in there. Sugar canes are definite. Okay, we're gonna need to get like void upgrades. I just find a bunch of obsidian. All right. And then I should now have yep, a little bit of wood. Still not run, still not ran out of saplings. It's got 80 saplings in there.
Hey, there's all four of the drawers. <clears throat> and I just need to turn these sideways. World. Hope that bee didn't like drop things in hop. <laughs> Alright, here goes an explosion of items. Okay. Having that wheat's great. That means we have now food. Still feel like that uh, grow spell would be way better. I still want to see is this water loggable? Darn it. It's not. It's not. Shine Zeal. Welcome in with the, the Prime for 18 months. Welcome back. Glad to have you back. Okay. That only doesn't that doesn't give it far up, yeah. I mean this is working faster. Oh, I just noticed something. If it doubled grows. Our harvester thing in the middle is not harvesting it fully. I've got to fix this again. Ah, uh, I, I forgot about that. That's another reason our gains are pretty low. For sugarcane, if it's growing like this. Oh, I hate how the rain thing breaks everything like this. Causes the texture to be broken. All right, let's toss that in there. Okay, so our big issue is we need another harvester. Yo, did you see crazy Dawncraft update? I did not. I see people complaining about it in my Discord. Um, a drawer I need. Has a place on something, but doesn't need it to be there whenever the contraption's built. Still dropping the item? Doesn't look like it. <clears throat> now it should be working. Are you gonna elaborate on the Dawncraft update? Like what happened? What do you, what what was it? I haven't seen like 
Like I said, all I've seen is like people complaining about it. But they didn't, I, with the complaining, I didn't see what they were complaining about. Mr. Gaming, he chosen, just wanted to say um, how amazing your videos are. They're well done, very informative and funny at times. Here with the amazing work, man. Thank you. I try. I try. That I do. Oh, I know what I need to do. Yeah, I hate the rain thing. I mean, I can sleep right now. Mm -hmm. Do we have wireless redstone yet? So like, if there's a block in the way, will this just ignore it? That's another thing I guess I could test. Is there a block in the way? Pepper, welcome in. How you doing, Pepper? Thank you for the 16 months, dude. 16 months? Oh, it's been that long already? Good God. Right, let's get her cake turned back on. Redstone Lake is super. Yeah, but I was wondering if like, if I place a block like in the, in front of this machine, does it clip through it? This will be a way to find out, right? Does it clip through it or does it get stuck? Oh, it clips through it. Oh. Well, that changes things. It stops when I'm in the way. It's going the wrong way. As always. Has been a bit of time, yep. Goodness. I feel, it feels crazy when I like just, I blink for a moment and it feels like just time has flown by. Go make her spell. So this spell is going to be uh touch grow AoE AoE AoE. This will probably be a little bit much. Maybe if I loosen up on the AoEs. I mean honestly it costs half of this to do this spell. But we just need more sugar cane. So we can have everything working together. Um, this should work. And let's see what it does. Oh, shoot. We don't want that happening. Oh, don't do that. It's too much, too much. Stop. Uh, I need, what is it called? This. 
Too much. That should stop it from growing that high. This should make sure there's like a constant supply of sugarcane. <laughs> Every round. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now I can turn this back on and we should have cakes. Okay. Place it down, my friend. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Oh my god. What am I supposed to do with all of this? <clears throat> I guess we could have like an essence farm that's like maybe belted over. That like takes the essence. thinking about how I'm supposed to transfer all of those things. I'm like, how, how am I going to do this again? This is the big thing though. I'm happy about like, we're about to have a full mana pool. Okay, so cakes are done. That makes a field projector, and then it's just steel, right? Blaze fiber, and what are we using cloth for? Spell binding cloth. Mana cloth. Uh, mana weave cloth can be processed further to make sturdier. Process it with latex to make some green fabric. We're supposed to get into industrial before going. Okay. will be nice so we have some some fluid being generated I should have iron now oh my guy is gone oh no we lost our crusher man 
Rip chat. Rip our crusher. Joseph, do you have any plans on playing new Dawncraft? Is this like a is this like a video or something that just come out or something? Is that why everyone I've seen two comments now about new Dawncraft? If it's anything like the last one, probably not. I don't know though. I never know. There's a lot of new mod packs that I'm excited for that are coming out in the future. The tier two occultism. Uh, can we do that though? Oh, I didn't make the stuff for it. <laughs> uh, I'll do that with my, my crusher here. Um, yeah, I've got to make crushed in stone. I can't make in stone, I don't think. So I can't do that. Guess I can. <clears throat> oh wait, isn't it a special? It's a special Endermite though. I think it's an event only summon. Yeah, I think it's an event only. dagger when hurting arthropods so the dagger made gl gloop stone Barry we need we need to tell Barry about this it exists mm -hmm. the gloop stone the gl it needs to be glorp stone <laughs> super easy and fast if you just do the hostile neural network thing with the mob farm um I haven't looked through like how we actually progress after this point. Are these just available? Wait, oh wait, what? Oh, we can do these like right now? See, I just expected this to just be blocked indefinitely. Like I actually expected this to be like hard locked.
Rich soil is another way we can speed up. Hey, we get free predictions. Didn't I make this or I was I was in the middle of making it? I s oh, it's in my hand. Oh my god. now. That was a loot pinata, I'm pretty sure. That was another loot pinata. It's actually really hard to kill these things. Getting there. <laughs> What's with the wiggly creepers? Dude, the wiggly armed uh, Enderman as well. <clears throat> okay, witches are done. We need Enderman though for the prediction. And there they go. They're done too. Nice. Okay. Bunch of weird stuff. We got some gems. Wow. Okay. All right. Uh, so we got gems. Or we got that done. Oh, let's kind of set this up, I guess. We can semi-automate it right now. We are going to need immersive. <clears throat> I don't know if this is going to do it. Um, is it immersive or does create is that way in here? create new age cables even gone looks like they're all gone okay so it is just immersive i think i have them over here yeah ld wire connectors ld relays then we need the actual coils mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Looks like we're about to about to do some smelting here. Ad Astra. Ooh. <clears throat> I'll use this for now. Um, these don't carry a whole lot of power, though, unfortunately. Which, it may not be enough to keep up with this. I don't know. Um, I need andesite. I just always need to have andesite on me. Look at that. Just unlimited cakes now. <clears throat> you think you just slapped a peat gin next to it and it was okay? I have power, so that I'm not worried about. Or at least enough to power it for right now. Um... So the copper sheets get turned into wires. So we don't have any other way of doing this right now. Nope. This is our first time getting into some power stuff though, which will be it's really nice. Once we have a way of getting power off of this darn thing, it'll be good. Take some power off of it. Oh wow, us going in here just gym after gym. Whoa. It's from the loot pinatas, I guess. I don't know. I think loot pinatas like will duplicate, right? The gems. Like this is from loot pinata. <clears throat> when it duplicates them. Let's get some power. Birds on a wire. Do you have to connect to the bottom of this or something? Is that where I get my power from? Hope not. Is it on the top? It doesn't make it wouldn't make sense if it was on the top.
Sigma, thank you for the hydrate. Is it on the top? How do you even get power out of this thing? What? So do we have to like use a cable? <clears throat> okay. Where are the batteries from immersive? Um did they get did they get rid of the like rotational power from immersive too? Also, I forget about the belts in this. I should probably we should probably like use the belts in this. So the so the battery buffers are not in here from immersive. Okay. <clears throat> no batteries until later. I mean, this thing's basically a battery. It's weird that we can't get it won't it won't pull the power off of the thing, right? I'm using the right power cables. That's there's only the connectors. bit obscure but okay does it say something about using ad astra cables for power or does it just go look them up interesting The powering up tab doesn't have anything on it about anything. Do 
these do not look like cables. That's jank if that's how this is supposed to be. Wait, this isn't even receiving power. Are these cables, these cables need to be done in a specific, like a specific way? seeing it working like this. All right, so we need a witch. We need to grab our witch. Or sorry, our enderman. <clears throat> out of here Put that in there and are we gonna have enough power <clears throat> definitely not does look like it doesn't cancel the the process if it does run out of power but that'll start to generate predictions uh once you have one instone you can pedestal it you need uh two pedestals or sorry four four of them yeah well no oh yeah one it makes eight. Oh yeah well once we have that we make this we have yeah, we can make infinite amounts of it. Weird, we don't really need any of that stuff, but okay. Huh. I'm like a little lost, really, in what we're actually meant to be doing right now. So this gets us into the thermo pneumatic processing plant to make the thermo pneumatic processing plant overcharged compressed iron. We have to energize compressed iron. To get to that cinnabar together with mineral resin Oh, oh, that's right. We don't have mineral yet. Sifting dust with mana still mesh will yield center bar an intermediate resource needed for quicksilver.
Moves into pneumatic and industrial. We're going. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, okay. So we 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 still have to get new mana craft together. Do we use create for this? Is there where's the new mana craft chapter? There's the pipe dreams. That's not what I need. Okay. This is the pneumatic craft chapter. Reinforced. <clears throat> I feel like I'm missing stuff though in the quests. Okay, we got that done. Talks right here. Reinforced stone. Pneumatic. Reinforced stone. You can into pneumatic craft. You can use any stone, but also preserves. It's a crafting component for pressurized chambers. Make sure to visit the air bending in you chapter. Pneumatic crafts. You can't click that, but yeah. And the way we craft this... Interesting. So we need sturdy sheets. So the only dripstone we have is these three. And we can't get any more dripstone. No, we can make dripstone. Can we? Dripstone doesn't have to be on dripstone to grow, right? How am I supposed to get a big drip leaf? <laughs> what? What? Are there drip leaves on these on the island here? <clears throat> you get four dripstone from a quest.
we get the dripstone itself, but looking to be able to make more of it. Um, does drip leaf grow on moss? It doesn't, does it? There's no way to get it. Okay, interesting. I was just wondering how am I how am I, how am I supposed to obtain lava? Like I I've already set up a drip farm, but that's what I'm wondering. Do I have to just do a bigger drip farm? Oh, it's blaze in a squeezer. Oh, okay, that's easy. Okay, good, 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 good. I mean, it would be nice to have the dripstone farm up and running, so it's just like passively generated. But that's going to take ages. I don't think that's an intended method. It's a method. But we have to make sturdy sheets. More water wheels. Yay. This wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't so frustrating with the water wheels or with the way you generate stress in this pack. Diesel, how much does the diesel generator make? Because like, I, I but I've got to go through this right before, well, I guess I technically don't. You know, I have to. It even shows in the first quest, but like, this can't be used, right? From a crop source, use both culinary application and food production. Okay. This is used. Vegetable oil, start processing seeds and create. Generate air pressure. You can double the yield. Vegetable oil is too raw. This is for like using it. For, why does it even mention it in here? Oh, vegetable oil is needed to make ethanol, or to make one of these resources, right? Yeast culture. No. Good God, I hate... Vegetable oil mixed with ethanol. Okay, so spider eyes, sugar, and water. So we need like an assembly line. It takes some of our resources and moves them over, which I was thinking about doing that production line over here, but I got to have ways of getting my seeds over. That's pretty straightforward for pressing. That produces vegetable oil. Um, <clears throat> we're already producing an excess amount of sugar. I just need to route that sugar over here. With a belt, it'll just get routed this way. That's pretty straightforward. Um, and then we mix it with like spider eyes, right?
water, sugar, spider eyes. hardest part is the spider eyes. I think I have plenty of spider eyes. Well, that didn't even produce any predictions. Oh, they're in the hopper. I have a prediction. I think that's all I needed, right? To make in stone. So now we have the ability to produce in stone. <clears throat> okay, so there's different levels of diesel generators. Breaks down no matter what. In, okay, this. Oh, we haven't even made the mechanical crafter, but I, but this is something like that we're right at. Oh, I still need thirty sheets. I still get to make the setup for thirty sheets. Uh. I just wanted to thank you for being open to making a follow through in your steampunk let's play. I mean, have, have at it, my dude. I don't control nobody. The only thing I, uh, like, just, I just don't care for like people like taking my videos and then just re-uploading them as their own. <laughs> that I don't like. Like, just blatantly just uploading the whole thing. Quantum assimil Assembler? What is this? What? Requires a structure. Um. Alright, so we have the... We'll need the dis diesel generator, ethanol, and then seed. I think I can, like, send the seeds over. This gets turned into vegetable oil. Does the ethanol need anything? No heating required for that. It gives us fermented spider eyes. Is there a loop that we loop this back through? I really like loops with create, but it doesn't really seem like it loops anything. A centrifugal separator. That's the loop. That requires 10, Constantine, Constantine. Do the gear crafting recipes with the mechanical crafter. I'm assuming the press is what's intended. And I'm assuming this is where we get that uh mushroom to be able to make there's another thing that required mushrooms in here i don't know okay <clears throat> So this just needs to lead into biodiesel or biofuel, right? Is that the right one? I should probably look at the quest, right? This one. Okay, which takes our vegetable and ethanol. And then air essence. Yeah. 
Turning Diamond Block into Amethyst um, would have unlocked Indermite event, right? Oh, is that a thing? Well, we went, we circumvented that. I haven't even done this. I think this unlocks once you, um, I think this unlocks after you get the mesh. Yeah, and I, I didn't get the Endermite, so I just I just went a different route. I wasn't expecting Hostile to be available this soon. <clears throat> All right, chat. I'm going to have to find a stopping point. So this is kind of, okay, kind of where I'm at. We don't really have a lot that we can do right now. Um, Which really sucks, because I want to be able to, like, move things around. And when we're, we're so limited on how we can route things around. Dang, that's that just kind of sucks. I just want to automate. Okay, anyways. Mob farm management. Uh, we kind of did that. We haven't done the automation of essences from the mob farm. Because we need, we need to use like belts. We did look at bio though. <clears throat> Goodness. We need to do like something with this, I think. That. I think I have a way of doing this. Does this show like the custom compact recipes? Is Does this work on these? Oh my god, it does. Thank god. This isn't running, is it? Ugh, man, this... The amount of times I gotta stop to do this. The mana pool is nearly full. Yep, these need to be pulled into these these barrels. <laughs> uh, and we're gonna use conveyor belts, and then we'll use dropping conveyor belts. That should drop them right into these drawers. And then we need um, I'm going to say a 
ba- uh, barrel. Well, actually, if we do a shoot, like if we do these advanced shoots, we can actually specify exactly what they need to be. It's really hard for me not to use these because of their filtering ability. We also need to get our occultism crusher back up. Oh, I forgot. I got so carried away. Soul steel. Andesite alloy. Yuki, welcome, welcome. Afternoon to you as well. It is definitely afternoon, isn't it? Oh boy. And then plate. We need a summoning book. It's the whole reason we like jumped into uh, making that stone. In stone. Uh, okay, it needs to crush obsidian. We should be able to upgrade this ritual. We're getting there. I've still got to, I got to do a bunch of yard work this afternoon. I'll probably have like three hours before it's dark. Hope I can get it all done. AE Thursday? Possibly. I think we might do Arcane Engineering Thursday and then Friday we'll be back into this. All depends. The time change is a killer. Well, the time change is better, right? Because there's more light in the afternoon. I hate how long this whole process takes. I should crush that up <clears throat> and then I should be able to make the next tier occultism minor and I thought the I thought this one also does despawn but I could be wrong Wait, whoa, whoa. This one. Gold, silver, iron, copper.
All right, what else I got to do with this? I got to my cultism book. I feel like I'm doing 50 things at once. At least ours makes a few, a little bit of these things easier. Oh, does this not get? I thought this get. Oh, this gets tossed into the the fire from occultism. Silver? Oh, we won't be able to make it anyways. Back to what I was doing. Never mind. Disregard. At least we got our crusher back up and running. That's all that matters. I mean, we can go ahead and make the purple chalk, but it's not going to matter. Doesn't matter. Okay. So what I was going to do was I was going to use the fantastic extracting belt was Ultima is one of those mods in packs you've always seen but never used because it seems like too much work. See, I don't, I don't know if that's a good thing. Like, I understand that, you know, the yeah, it's too much. It, people see it as too much work. I'm, just, I just wonder, like, is that on us just being lazy, or is it like the mod? Like, I don't know. Of requires all this. The extracting conveyor, though, is insane. So. Harass. Rods.
Why not just craft chalk straight? What do you mean? <laughs> All right. We should now be able to make this. There's the curtains. There's that. There's the conveyor. Okay. So we can now extract the items. <clears throat> they should automatically, the conveyor, the dropping conveyor belts, I believe, automatically send it into inventories. It's going to suck if I set this up and I don't test it first. For example, a barrel. Um, if I have a conveyor belt that is here. And it goes on to an extracting version that should put these items in here. Oh my God. I said this the wrong way, didn't I? So we just need it to travel into the compactors. We're probably gonna have to configure them first. Okay, and then we need... <clears throat> Unfortunately, this can send all the different types to this. And we have no way of filtering. But the, we have the shoots. So we'll use the shoots to fill to the chamber. And then we'll use the barrels. The drawers. Polar upgrades. We're going to need four of them, I think. Well, four polar upgrades. Polar. Yeah, no. Yeah, pusher upgrade. Polar. Polar upgrades. Isn't it crazy doing all this crap in your head? I swear I had... Did I lose a dropper conveyor? Alright. So, we'll put our item router right here. This thing is great. Um, yellow is I believe what we configure or do we configure the green side take one of those one of those one of those and one of those I think I can figure the green side Yeah. 
It's going to go like this. And then it's going to go with the shoots. There's a lot to this that's about to happen. Then we have these on the top. These are where we're going to have the parts configured. Earth. Oh. Um. Let's actually not put these in yet. Because we got to lock these drawers. Earth. Wind. Water. And fire. These were the four houses. Uh, okay, we need to lock this. And then these should drop into here automatically. This is about as good as it's going to get for item routing for us. working with these belts though they're so bad And then this should work. Please work. This will be what we filter there. It's working. I wonder how many items are actually on the belt at any given time. Just one? It looks like two. I mean, this is better than nothing, I guess. Uh, okay, so we have an air. We can probably go ahead and get those started. Air. Water. It is better to have it crafting the, the big ones first. These all need to be up. See, this should probably be moved. Is this going to reach over here? Oh, 
Oh god. So there's all the base essences. mechanics everywhere. I bet like multiple Vitalics would probably work because it's probably not keeping up with everything that's dying here. Fifty-seven. Okay. All right. Let's get those in. All right. All right. There we go. Now we got it done. Got the mob farm sorted. Kinda. We got like belt lines doing their thing. Holy smokes. What are we, what do, we do with all? What, I, I, dude, this mob farm is just crazy. Can you convert drops into RF? I don't know. Let me go. Goodness. Is there ender pearl blocks? I think we have ender pearl blocks, right? Can these be turned back? Good. All right, it lags a little bit.
you know, all 2,000 of these. See the mobs all frozen. Okay, there it goes. It's absurd. We just have too much, too many resources right now coming from mob farms. If I don't think there's a way I can, like, convert. The mob drops into power. I'm pretty sure. smokes. I think these can be compressed. We've got a ton of this too. It's for all from the witch farm. Okay. So that all should be converting now into the essences. That's now not providing enough source. Um, because I think it's just not close enough. Well, it is. No, it's providing to it. It looks like it might be round robining in some way. This is not getting anything though. Rip, rip earth essence. This is where we need like source distri distributions. Just, it's just not so much, it's just so much chat to wrap your head around. What the, what in the world, man? What did I get my, why am I playing an expert pack? <laughs> the heck is wrong with me? <laughs> why? <laughs> okay. Um, mm -hmm. We're full. Yeah, that's full. Okay. So I think this is a good stopping point. We now have like these essences ready to go, which we're going to need for a lot of stuff here in the future. We're kind of sorting our mob farm. There's still a lot more, I think, that needs to be sorted out of our mob farm into drawers using probably this method right here. Uh, but maybe we can do it over here because right because right now this mob farm, if we leave it running, is going to be the worst thing ever. So, all right, I think that is going to be it for me today, I think.
appreciate you guys hanging out with me today. It's been a been a crazy day. Crazy day. Thank you guys for the follows, by the way. Appreciate you. Techno dreams. Appreciate you, my dude. All right, let's see. Who's we gonna raid? Uh, looks like crafting the big old lethal mobs. Not a lot of people playing. Pokemon Infinite Future. What the heck is that? All right, I think we'll hit up Sparkles. Looks like. Oh wait, that's not Minecraft. Is that Minecraft? That is a hundred percent Minecraft. That is kind of scary looking. Let's see. All right, it looks like we're gonna raid. Maple Daddy, I think. Or is there any FTB? Is anybody playing this right now? FTB Sky's expert. Chapter 2 progression. Looks like Yorkshire Panda is playing this. English? Okay. Alright, we'll give them a raid. By the way, uh, keep in mind. If I, this may be family friendly, friendly, I have no idea, but, uh, they don't, uh, oh, it says mature audiences. Um, so keep that in mind. Stuff that they say, not necessarily reflecting me because I don't know who this is. It's a random rate. So, uh, enjoy, enjoy their stream, um, and give them a follow if you enjoy it. And, uh, guys, I am going to get on with the yard work for the rest of the day. <laughs> so you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you for chilling out with me today. Um, if you would, let them know where you came from. Chosen's crew has chosen you. And then there's some beautiful links if you want to check out the links in the link tree. It's been great. I had a lot of fun. Uh, and uh, I hope you are having fun if you're playing this as well. Or if you're playing any of the other packs that I'm currently playing right now. Um, hope you're enjoying them. And hopefully you're enjoying the videos. I'll see you guys, of course, in the next stream. Which will be back on Thursday as per normal. And as always, thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Bye, Tech!